He's in like five. No, he, but he was on tour over there in like Thailand and shit. Remember? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. With Twisted Kane, right? Is he's mm-hmm. in there too? Mm-hmm. Crazy. With Marauder. Japan. Yeah, that's when they had their show with Marauder. Japan, that's crazy. Korea and shit. Yeah, they played Blood X. Thai. Blood X Festival. Yeah. Hell yeah. Dude, Twisted Kane's dope, bro. You want to introduce yourself, sir? Oh, yeah. Let's get into it. All right. Uh, hey, David. I play in 97 and uh, Flesh Forest. That's dank. I'm sorry. That was fire. Is it? That's good. You want to try it? Right now. Give it a rating. <laughs> give it a rating. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Those are definitely better. The Arizona that he's drinking, those are definitely better. I'll try this. Give yours a rating. The, oh, this? Yeah, give yours mm. a rating. Honestly, Mucho Mango's not... Mm. Not your favorite? The watermelon wow. one is gas, though. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna say like six point five. Really? So if you had to choose one, what would it be? I like the watermelon. Watermelon's fire. They watermelon? need to do fruit punch. Uh, they're they're fumbling the bag here. They have oh, but they have that already, except not in the hard cell, not yeah. the hard one, right? What? They have a fruit punch Arizona. Th- I think they have it in hard. Not, they, what? The fruit punch? Yeah, I think so. They have the original green tea. The southern. Oh yeah, maybe they don't have fruit punch. I don't know, bro. They should have every flavor. Why? Why wouldn't they have? I'm gonna every give flavor? this a seven point two. And that's a six five. Oh, random seven point two. Can I try? <laughs> and and for for everybody uh, listening and watching, the Mountain Dew Baja Blast hard Zero sugar. exist. Zero sugar. They exist, right? I like it. <laughs> now I know, dude. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't taste like Baja Blast though. Yeah, what's the most? It doesn't. It tastes like nothing. It just tastes like... It tastes like alcohol. Yeah. That's it. Oh, but, but see, okay, when you're drinking, is that something you want, or do you want something that's a little more, like, uh, the alcohol is a little more hidden, where it's easier to drink? For that, I wish it would have tasted like Baja Blast. But you personally, what do you like? Do you like to, the alcohol oh, no, taste I, to be a little more hidden, or do you want... Yeah, to yeah. Out? No, I want it to taste like a juice or, like, whatever it's mixed with. I don't want it to taste like... Oh, you want it to be dangerous. Oh, you live on the wild side, huh? Nah. That's scary. I don't want to drink straight alcohol. <laughs> I, I used to just drink, like, ice and whiskey. That's it. Just on the rocks. On the rocks, straight? Yeah. No Chaser? Nothing. No. But it's what, a sipper. What's your drink choice? Any type of whiskey? No. I wish I remember the name because I, I held on to it for such a long time. It was like this Japanese whiskey I got from at Christmas. I've never experienced this before, but my girl's like house, they would do like a white elephant and you would like steal gifts. Oh, yeah, yeah. And luckily, I traded this gift away because like, oh, this is a, it's a big gift. It was like a, one of those dildos, like a fake dildo that would shoot like whipped cream out as a game. And I was like, ah, you know, I want that one. And I took it. And then when they opened it, I was like, thank God. Thank God I switched. But yeah, it was this Japanese whiskey. It was like 15 year age or something. So smooth. You couldn't, didn't even taste the alcohol, but it hit. <laughs> Usually like when I drink alcohol, which is not very often, it's just cause I want to get fucked up. No, nothing else. But I don't drink very often. I like to just chill, sit back and chill, enjoy the flavor. That's usually like what I fucking smoke for, honestly. Damn. I don't know. I feel that. I don't know. What about you? What about me? I like uh, to enjoy. <laughs> you haven't drinking forever. I know. It's, I, I can't even remember the last time I I had a sip of alcohol, honestly. But I like to enjoy a nice, cold fucking glass of orange juice with crushed ice. Filled to the brim. Yeah, you showed me a picture. It looked like it was him for sure. <laughs> also, that I would give it like a five. Really? Damn, I it's didn't like that. slowly going down, huh? Yeah. You really? It's, I, I think it's it's I think it's because it has zero sugar in it. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Because well, you need sugar and alcohol. That's what makes it taste fucking dank. Would you like to try it? No, absolutely. It's not. only five percent alcohol. It won't even break edge. No, 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 <laughs> no way. No thanks. <laughs> Dude, your you, your eyes are the same exact color as that Baja Blast green. Mine. Absolutely beautiful. Are they? It's got some dreamy blue eyes. <laughs> blue? Like hazel or something. Yeah, they're hazel, they're, they're yeah. They're like a greenish, yeah, that's pretty dope. Damn. Yeah, dude, they're fucking nice. You got a fucking crush on or something? Maybe. Oh, shit. I'll drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, yeah. That's why I don't drink often, because then I just sit there in my room, secluded away, and just want to get totally hammered. And then I wake up the next day totally fine. Nah, dude. When I drink, I become a social butterfly, man. 
talk to everybody. Want some more? Get more? <laughs> Become the nicest person on earth? Uh, not nice. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> yeah, I just talk. I don't know. How long have you been in the scene? I feel like everyone knows you. Uh, well, I'm 31. I think I started going to shows. I was probably like 14 or 15. It's all a while. And being as tall as you are, it's hard to miss you. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I forget that I'm like this tall, dude. Because I don't know, like, I'll be, when I talk to people, I slouch. And I think it's in my head. I try to be on the same, like, the same height as people. So I'll slouch down. And I kind of forget that I'm tall sometimes until I watch videos back of, like, me moshing or, like, pictures of me standing next to other people. And I'm like, holy shit. I, yeah, I'm, like, fucking hella you tall. You are the tallest guest we've had for sure. For real? For Absolutely. Sure. Without yeah. a doubt. Yeah, because like when we had Abel from Big Ass Truck, everyone was like, "Oh yeah, not so Abel. big, not so big now." Or something. They had, they were doing the screenshot shit. Yeah, I love Abel. Abel's awesome, dude. How tall are you? Like six three, six four. Oh, liar! You guys are. What do you mean? Because I'm six four and you're taller than me. You're six four. Yeah. Oh shit. My girl likes to measure me like randomly for no reason. Oh, six then. five. Maybe. Six six. Six. I didn't even know. He's a he's a solid six eight. No way, solid dude. Solid six eight. Big hammer. Ladies. LeBron James? <laughs> <laughs> I know. What are you doing in like in bands and shit? They need you on the court, brother. The Lakers need you. Dude, I didn't get into sports till after high school. I didn't get into like basketball and football till like way after high school. And I really wish that I would have played sports, bro. So like, what were you into? Uh, I did martial arts a lot. Oh, hell, yeah, I did yeah. kickboxing for a long time. And then I got into jujitsu a little bit, wrestling a little bit. This was after high school, though. But during high school, I did martial arts, yeah. Where'd you train jujitsu at, like 10th Planet or something? Nah, Adrenaline. It was called Adrenaline in San Bernardino. I don't think it's there anymore. That's where you've always been? Yeah. Well, uh, no. Uh, I took a break for a long time. And then um, during COVID, me and my homie Victor started doing, like, kickboxing again. And then our other homie, um, dude, I can't even remember his name right now. I feel bad. Anyways, he was doing jujitsu, I think, at 10th Planet. So then he started kind of showing us because during COVID, everything was closed. So we would just train at my homie Victor's house. So then that's where I started picking up on like jujitsu and shit. So did you watch UFC at all? I was into it in high school. Not anymore. I haven't watched in years unless I go to like someone's house where they're playing it. Okay, so who was your favorite fighter at the time then? Damn, dude. I liked Anderson Silva back in the day. Go to. I liked. Uh... Yeah, who didn't like that guy, huh? Dude. Anderson Silva haters. Like, Major haters. Honestly. Uh, Chuck Liddell, like way back. Uh, I don't know, dude. I can't even think right now. But Anderson Silva definitely was like my favorite fighter. You know Bobby Green? Nah. He's from Fontana. No, nah, I didn't know that. The guy just fights and fights and fights. Is he a current fighter? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I wouldn't. He's been, he's been in the UFC for like, like 13 years or something. Oh, no shit? A long time. Dude. For a hot minute. Dude yeah. puts on for the IE, that's for yeah. sure. Really? All the time. Yeah, he always talks about the 909. Oh, shit. There's he's, another he's, fighter. He's about it. Yeah, Jalen there's Paul. another fighter named Jalen Turner. He always talks about the 909. Hmm. Yeah. And he's, like, number six or seven ranked in the lightweight division. So yeah, I, I, I use on top. like, junior year, probably, of high school. Yeah. So, from the time, because you said you started when you were, like, what, 16 in the scene? Probably a little earlier, dude. I was probably like 14, 15. So around that time, you've always been in the IE, right? Or San Bernardino mm -hmm. specifically? Yeah. How much have you seen the scene grow? Oh, here we go. Uh, dude, it, it, it's changed. Like, back then, there wasn't... There was a lot of, like, house shows, backyard shows. There wasn't a lot of venues. There's still not a lot of venues, right? Like in San Bernardino, Colton, Rialto. There's not a lot of venues at all. So it was a lot of going to like Glass House, going to Aladdin Juniors, which is now The Haven. Uh, there was a lot of that. Going out to LA for shows. There wasn't really anything in the IE. Well, shows that I was going to, besides, like I said, backyard shows. But I like where it's at now with this resurgence of like Inland Empire Hardcore. I think it's, from what I've seen, I know like Gabe from Darasum and stuff, he's been in this a lot longer than me, but from what I've seen and from what I could say, I think this is like the best it's ever been right now. This is the biggest it's ever been. This is the most like community driven that it's ever been. Everyone talks to everyone. Everyone's cool with everyone. It wasn't like that for a while. And why do you think it's why do you think it's growing bigger now? I don't know. I don't know. A lot of these bands are fucking killing it though. Like big ass truck and smoked and everyone that's coming out. Maybe just because the musicianship's a little better. Better. I I, I don't want to say better because there was bands like like uh, Impending Doom, they're from Riverside or Corona. 
Sleeping Giant, like all those bands back then, they were still good too at the time. But I think maybe with the the ease of access with the internet too nowadays, I think uh-huh. more people can like learn new things with their instruments. Guitarists are fucking ripping now. Drummers are ripping now. So maybe that's the reason that there's a, a big resurgence of like good solid bands in Inland Empire right now. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that, but I definitely think right now is the best that it's ever been. Seriously. From the time that I've started going to shows till now, I can say this is probably the best that it's looked. Wow. And you've been going to shows consistently since then. No. I actually took... It's funny. On the way up here, I was thinking about this. I was like, I wonder if they're going to ask, like, if I ever, like, walked away from it. I actually walked away from hardcore for, like, probably three or four years. I only got back into it really, like, right before COVID. And I just started listening to, like, drill rap and shit, like Chief Keef and all them. I was just super into that. I, like, completely, like, didn't listen to hardcore at all. So between those times, too, I don't know. I can't really fill you in on how Inland Empire was or how shows were at all. I don't know. But the reason why I kind of started to walk away from it and I started leaning more towards, like, a different scene of music is because it started getting really divided, in my opinion. And what I mean by that is, like, if all three of us, you know, if we didn't know each other, like, you would be over there with your group of friends, you would be over there, I would be over here, and all of us maybe not necessarily would beef it, but everyone would be like weird with each other. Yeah. Where now I could just walk up to you guys and be like, hey, you know, I'm David, whatever. Like whatever the case may be, it's a lot easier to talk to people right now. Like I said, there's more community and there's more like love in the hardcore scene now. Uh-huh. But that's why I kind of walked away from it is I noticed there was like a division and I noticed that, I don't know, like it just started getting weird. It started feeling like Inland Empire was like beefing with each other. Everyone in the scene was, like, beefing amongst each other, and I just didn't want to be part of that anymore. So I walked away for a while, like a couple of years, yeah. So when did, like, 97 start? So 97 started when COVID had the lockdown. Nate, our drummer, and then Jordan, which was our original guitarist, but he doesn't play with us anymore. Uh, them two were living together at their house, and I would go over, like, every day after work or whatever, because I never stopped working. I'm in construction as well, so fucking... We would watch like hate five six videos and one nine seven videos on YouTube like all day, and I was like, dude, we should start something like this. Right now is the time to write because everything's locked down, and then when it opens back up, we could just start playing shows. So originally, <laughs> some lore for you guys: I was supposed to be the vocalist of ninety seven. Nate was drumming, Jordan was guitar. Our friend Keith, who he now plays bass for Flesh Forest, he was supposed to play bass for ninety seven, and that was it. It was going to be a four piece at first. And then first day of practice, we ran out of beer. So Keith went to the liquor store to get more beer and I picked up his bass and I was like, I kind of want to play bass now. Yo. So then we switched. Everyone was like, that's fine, but you have to ask him if that's okay. Cause you know, it's his stuff and see if he's even like down for it. So he said that he was down for it. And then we started practicing like that. And then Keith, he's in the military. So he ended up like going out. I think, I think he actually got sent out like on a deployment. So we were like, well, what do we do now? So then we got Gilly. And Gilly was supposed to be just a fill-in, which is our vocalist now, and he ended up just killing it. So we were like, dude, you're stuck with us now. Sorry. Like, you have no choice, you know? So then it was me on bass, Nate, Jordan, and then Gilly doing vocals. And then we got Brian, like, before our first show. So Brian's been in it pretty much since the beginning. But it started, to answer your question, I think it started 20, when was the lockdown? 2020? 2020. It was either really late 2020 or really early 2021. But I think like on our Instagram and stuff, we put 2021 was like the year that we started officially. But yeah, it was just because of COVID. We were just bored sitting around and like, let's start something. Let's try to get the IE back together. And because of a beer run. Yeah, because of a beer run. You are where you are now. Yeah. Dude, that's badass, bro. Yeah. What kind of beer did you come back with? I think it was like Keystone Light, dude. <laughs> <laughs> or like Coors Light or something. PBR type shit. Yeah, and I actually learned how to play bass in in the band. Like, I didn't know how to play bass before. Did you know how to play any instrument before? Guitar a little bit. I was in a band before with Nate, and I played guitar. Awful, though. So, no, yeah, bass I learned while, while writing and recording our first album. Like, I was just practicing and learning. Pretty crazy, huh? Damn, that's fucking How sick, hard is the bass? Is it pretty easy? Because I've, uh, I've been wanting to get a bass and just rip. Just, just for myself. I think if you just put enough practice into it, like anything becomes easier. I wouldn't say it's like easy. It's easier than guitar, if you ask me. Uh 
but I wouldn't say it's necessarily easy. Just try it. You just gotta practice. Yeah, practice makes perfect. It's all wrecking. To play bass? Just yeah, honestly, yeah. But as far as far as like going back to uh, the time that you were in the IE scene, and then now comparing the music, in your opinion, which music was better? I think the music's better now. Now, a hundred percent. And I love all the bands that from back then, like Impending Doom and all that. I love it. I grew up on it. But like I said, I think the internet changed a lot, and I think people have more talent now with their instruments. I think their craft is a lot more toned, you know, toned in. So like Smoked, perfect example. Smoked has crazy fucking riffs, dude. Yeah. Like insane riffs. Like they sound like a professional fucking band. I mean, they are a fucking professional band now, but uh. <laughs> they they they're killing it, dude. The, the, I love. Or like even okay, they're not from IE, but let's talk about Ruin. I think Ruin has a lot of fucking talent. And it's made up of people that are very fucking talented from other bands, right? So that a lot of that's going on too, where people will cross from other bands and they'll make like a super band. And I just I think nowadays it's a lot better. Music's a lot better. If you ask me. So let's cause a little beef here. Who's like your favorite IE band? That's crazy. Dude. <laughs> We're done. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, fuck. I don't know. Mm, who's yours? <laughs> Both yours. I think it's like biased, but so when I first got into the scene, he told me about Darsum, how like that's the OG. They are. And I just like got hooked on them. Like right away, so I'd probably say Darsum. So Darsum, okay. Do they need? I mean, it, is it okay if they're not a thing anymore? Ah. Uh, okay. Then do, question. do two. Do two. Do if if it's not current. Oh, like inactive and, and active. Inactive, yeah. bound in blood. Yeah. Okay. I, see, I was thinking just active, but bound in blood is so sick. Yeah. And if I'm going active, dude, that's a little harder. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna honestly, I'm gonna have to take some more time to think about that one. Yeah, <laughs> off rip. I don't know if I could just do it off rip. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, because I have a lot of bias too. Because I'm friends with a lot of the bands that are playing too. So I'm like, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know. Damn. We're just gonna say it's Darsum and the OGs. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> Valid. Valid. Gabe. Shout out Gabe, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't know, he told me that they're the OGs and I just tapped in. Yeah. And then he told Dude, me about Bun and Blood like months later. He was like, oh yeah, this is Gabe's too. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Rip. He gave me a shirt, a Bound and Blood shirt like a while back. What? Pretty sick, yeah. Is it a Bound and Blood shirt? Yeah, they, they did so. they did a, they did a drop. They did a drop not too oh, long yeah, ago. Oh yeah, I bought a shirt. Yeah, yeah, he didn't give me one. I think it's someone else. Someone what, what was this? Shirt. Wait, when was this? Uh, this was like last like, year? Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't so. know about it then. It's yeah. all right. I was oh, well. broke as hell at the time. And I, they I were like $10, you. really? Uh, no, I really couldn't even afford a shirt, bro. Damn. I'm Gabe, telling you. Gabe, 2X, <laughs> hook me up, brother. I had, nothing, <laughs> I had nothing in the funds, and I, I remember specifically uh, looking at the shirt, and because he was saying that it was only going to be up for a certain amount of time. <laughs> And I had to take the L, you know? I had to take the L. Dude, you, the, the amount of times that I've had to do that, bro. Not just with shirts, just with shit that I want, but you don't have the money in the moment, and then it fucking is not for sale anymore when I do have the money. Damn. One of one of his homies at a show recently said, it was like, yeah, it's either I get the, this Epstein shirt or gas money, and I was like, yeah, feel that Get for the sure. Epstein shirt, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Figure out the rest later? Yeah. I was like, fuck. I was like, yeah, that's real. That's real. I feel that. What's been the most recent L in that department that you've had to take? I think it was a ticket for a show. We're, we're missing Balmora upon Stone right now as we speak. We should just leave. 200 stab wounds. Yeah. Is that this? Is that tonight? That's right now. Tonight. Oh, fuck. Where's it at? It's with 1720? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. I'm not a fan of that place. Yeah, me neither. Don't get your car jacked, dude. Yeah, honestly, dude. That's the only thing I don't like is the outside of the venue. The venue is cool. Why don't they have like extra security out there or something? I don't know, man. 
someone's car got jacked from right in front where the security's standing there and their car was gone. I mean, typically, it seems like every show you hear that goes down there, someone's window's getting busted, it's someone's car is getting yeah. jacked. Something's going down. Windows oh, getting busted show. is a big fucking thing out there. But yeah, cars getting completely jacked, that's fucked. Oh my I God. mean, I, I, I work probably like maybe a mile or two from that place. Really? Yeah, that's that's like that general area where, I, where I'm working right now, Olympic yeah. and Hill. If my measurements are correct. Okay. <laughs> But it, it was crazy too, cause this morning I saw um, I saw like this one company car. It was like a Chevy Bolt. I drove in the parking lot 4:30 in the morning, and then I was I was going to make a right turn. There was this car just sitting there at a red light, right? And then so I'm, I'm waiting behind this car. Light turns green. There's no tail lights, nothing, right? Oh, so it's like, what the fuck? There's no one in this damn car, <laughs> right? This car is literally just sitting in the middle of the lane with no one in there. <laughs> that car was there from 4.30 in the morning, probably till 10 or 11 in the morning Did later tow, that day. Like, the tow truck came and got it? Yeah. <laughs> the whole day. So everyone had to go around it? Everyone oh, had to go traffic. around it. What the? Dude, LA's a trip, bro. Yeah. 100% <laughs> it is a trip. I always tell them I hate driving in LA. So do I. I, like anytime if we ever go over there, just drive. I, I can't do it. Cause I, I'll, I'll get too pissed. I'll never go. I'll just, I'll be stuck there. What do you drive? What kind of car or truck or? I'm driving a Veloster right now. Hyundai Veloster. Veloster. It sounds it's a, sick. <laughs> yeah, it's a small little, a small little coupe. Oh, okay. Cause I have the, a Silverado and trying to parallel park that bitch in LA is fucking impossible damn near, dude. Oh. So I hate going out to LA, bro. Especially 1720. Or I mean, oh, even man. even the even the the private lots that they have, they're, even those spots are tight. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah, like where you pay for parking or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, dude. Even yeah, those are a shit show, dude. Because like I'll pull up every morning, you'll see a fresh pile of shit right there. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, huh? Yeah, awesome, the best thing ever. You gotta watch. You gotta watch where you're stepping, dude. <laughs> oh Seriously, oh it's serious shit. You're either you're either, step, you're either stepping on a homeless dude or you're stepping on a pile of shit. You know? If hey, honestly, but when For the Children happened, he got that free parking shit. That was, was wonderful. Was that at, uh, Belasco? Yeah. 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 They're doing it there again, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you go into that? I don't know. 100, I don't, I don't 100 Demons? Ticket. 100 Demons? There's no way Fire. No, I don't think it's sold out. I, I'll probably go. Isn't it like for for the children, you buy the ticket, but you still have to like donate something like backpack or toys? The toys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That that's for both days. Yeah. You got to take for a toy days. each day. Oh yeah. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, I'll probably go. And it's a bang rope lineup. See, like last year, does Magic play day two, right? They, I think so. Whatever day they played, we were the first in line, and I was like, I need this, I need this merch. I got no merch, and I waited there right when the doors opened. And I was like, damn, they're taking forever. Because they were watching the first band. And I was like, fuck. So I'm sitting there, sitting there. And I was like, I'm going to go sit down. So me and this guy were waiting there forever. We both sat down. We're just chopping it up. And then everyone starts rushing in. We stand up, and this little skinny dude walked right in front of me. And then the the drummer goes, he's like, oh, you've been waiting long? He's like, no, man, not at all. And I'll, I mean, the guy looked at each other like, you're like, motherfucker. <laughs> Literally 40 minutes, bro. And also, it's already hit me. I'm buzzing. You feeling buzzed? Yeah, already. Oh, well, I mean, when you started. This is half. When you started saying, I was sitting there you're sitting. Half already? I was sitting yeah. there sitting there. You know, I don't know if you noticed that. No. I didn't even notice, so I'm buzzed, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> oh fuck! Wait, so how long have you been into hardcore? I know it's kind of recent, right? February 2023. Okay, closer. Um, I would say twin like COVID, okay. like around maybe 21. Okay. I believe. So you couldn't even go to shows when you first started getting into it. Huh? No, no, or it was like late. It was like mid to late COVID around there. I don't, I don't specifically so remember the year. Pretty fresh to hardcore. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, but it, it's crazy though, because um, like when I was getting deeper and deeper into it, I mean, the the more I learn about it, and the more bands I find out about. Uh, the the more I realized that I had been listening to a lot of these bands before I even knew what this dude. shit was. It happens yeah. to everyone, bro. Yeah, dude, it's 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 sick. I love it. But yeah, man. I mean, it's 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 relatively fresh. Still learning every day, and I love it. And you're a mosher. I see you out there moshing. Oh, dude, I love it too. As long as my knees can I'm handle it. I'm there soon. It. I'm there soon. I, I want to be there so bad. I've never seen you mosh, but do you mosh? But you just answered. I wish. What's yeah. stopping you? 
knee injury. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm okay. still waiting for the results. I did call them. But I still got to wait. That's what they told me. They said, oh, yeah, we're working on it. I got it like an MRI like a little over a month ago, like a month and a half ago, I yeah. would say. And they're just taking forever for the results. Is it a... Uh... I think it, it's something with my MCL. Oh, fuck. So it's not all in your head. It can actually fucking tear. Oh, so, oh, so there's like times where I'll just be doing something random. Like, I'll just kind of step on my toe a little weird, and my knee will just give out. I eat shit, and then like my knee's swollen for like a week, and then I, I got a slight limp. It sucks. Oh, dude, you should have seen this guy at Sound and Fury 23. Oh yeah. So this. What happened? It went out. I think. I think it was. Uh, he went into the pit for dying, dying wish. wish. Yeah. This guy came out with a fucking baseball on the side of his knee. It swelled up. That so what, what happened was is that I got in the pit a few times that day. And then for Dying Wish, I was like, these guys are so sick. I'm they getting are. in there. I love that. Man. And I started swinging in some big, big dude, like giant. I hit him. I was like, oh, fuck. And he hit me. <laughs> and then I just kept going. And then he fucking hit me really hard. And I just, my knee just totally popped out and people helped me up and they're like, you good? I was like, no. And I just walked out. I remember just sitting there like on a curb and I was like, holy fuck, this shit hurted. And they were telling me like, you good? I was like, yeah, I'm good. Let's just sit down. So we sit on this, that, at that tree with all the roots on it. Uh-huh. And then I finally extend my leg out and I go, holy fuck. And it's like this on the side of my leg. It's like, just like that. There's literally a fist sticking yeah. out on the inside of it his It was knee. terrible. Did you, like, break anything, or is it just swollen? Uh, swollen pretty bad. But everyone's comment She's like, yeah, bro, you tore your MCL. You should have looked at. I'm like, I, I know, dude. I know. Fuck, dude. All right, maybe don't mosh then for now. No, so you like, moshed before. Before your knee injury, you were... You no, were I wouldn't say I've moshed. Like, that was, like, my first time really Dying. moshing, yeah. Because what had happened before is I was a broke boy. I didn't have insurance. And I went to a circle pit for Zulu, and someone spilled beer on the floor. Yeah. And I totally just wrecked my leg yeah I've been there totally wrecked it and then uh, finally got insurance got MRI and all this shit it's just been so long it's been such a long process. process yeah and then uh it was last year I had like Blue Anthem and they just kept sending me to place to place they're like oh yeah we're gonna get you an MRI and I was like dude I went to the last place they said that yeah so I went to like six places and then I just cut them off and just got Kaiser and they got me in there pretty quick but now they're taking a while yeah I feel like all the hospitals are like super packed right now with bullshit. So it's not even that. It's that they make me pay the copay every time. Every time I go, I gotta pay the copay. They're just milking me. Damn, is it expensive? It's a hundred bucks every time, but it's like that's a hundred bucks that I gotta pay. Man, they see them big udders, baby. They I know, gotta get as know, much milk out of you as they can. That's crazy, <laughs> dude. Dude, but on the topic of moshing, it takes me back to the torture show. You were going ham in there. <laughs> where, and where? as big as you are at midnight hour. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a war zone. So, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and I specifically remember seeing you because, again, how could anybody six, miss you? 6'8", uh, everyone, by the way. 6'8", S- hammer. Right? Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, I mean, you're you're a hard mosher yourself. Thanks. Man. Have, have you had any pretty hard injuries? I broke my arm moshing. Really? Oh, yeah, both bones. I'm so sorry. Damn it. Restart. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I swung back. This was a long time ago. I swung back and it broke through both bones. Damn. That was, and ever since then, I actually used to mosh harder, but ever since then, I think subconsciously, I can't swing back as hard now. Because that shit fucking hurt. Did you make contact with someone's forehead? Yeah. (laughs) Dude just knocked out on the floor. Oh, you you did knock him out? Yeah. I, I didn't know. So I made contact, grabbed my arm, and I knew something was wrong, right? Immediately. And I'm like, fuck. And the band was still playing, and I, I think I came with someone to that show, so I couldn't just leave. I was with them. And I sat on the, whatever, like the side of the pit or whatever. There was like a little step that you could sit on. And I all, all I remember, dude, is I set my arm down like this, and when I would lift it up, the bones oh, like came up like this. Oh. Not out of my skin, but they were like up, and I was like, fuck. I'll just sleep it off. I was like, I, oh, no. I was like, hey, it's not broken. And I was trying to like convince myself, right? So like I was showing all my friends and they were like, dude, you need to go to the hospital. And I was like, no, nah, like I'll sleep it off. So I tried to get a ruler like from school, like a wooden ruler. And I tried to like gauze, t- I tried nice. to splint it myself. Fuck no, dude, it lasted like five minutes. I tried to go to sleep and I was like, I was living with my parents obviously. And I was like, dude, you need to take me to the hospital. I, I woke my dad up. But so anyways, the fucking when I hit the guy, I was in so much pain that I didn't even look back. 
but they said that the guy was knocked out and he didn't wake up, so they had to call the ambulance. Oh, shit. But when the ambulance got there, he was awake by then, but he was knocked out for like a cool minute. So I must have hit him fucking hard. I don't know, but I'd say you had the worst injury out of the two. Yeah, right. not a good win for me. But that was that was probably the only injury I've I've gotten knocked out too moshing. It was during impending doom. Uh, of I think a venue in Riverside and someone I was done moshing and I was standing there to watch the band but I was still kind of in the pit just kind of towards the back and I was like you know your focus goes away from the moshers towards the band so I was watching and I just see a fist come like this and I just remember looking straight up and I thought I was okay but my friend said that I got knocked out but what I remember is looking straight up and then I was just standing again but evidently I looked up because I fell back and I got up and I don't remember any of that I thought I just went like that you get what I'm saying? Like a, like I like I a rebound of the hit. Like that. Yeah. And then everyone was like, sit down, sit down, sit down. And I was like, why? Like, <laughs> I'm good. My ass was knocked out, brother. And then I was kind of fucked the rest of the night. Really? Those are the only two, like, serious injuries that I've had, though. But yeah, going to that torture show. So everyone knows, everyone can attest to this. I don't mosh anymore. What? I either hurt myself, hurt someone else, or like... I go extremely hard and I'm super sore the next day and it's just not worth it anymore. Being 31 and fucking working construction, I'm just like over it the next day, right? But at torture, I don't know why, dude, some some animal came out of me. It's torture. Because it's torture, they are an animal. Literally, dude. And yeah, I, that was the first time I've ever, you know when people crowd bash nowadays, like they'll grab you and just do that, like straight to your like Jesus dome or whatever. Christ. This is the first time I ever did that to someone was during torture at midnight hour. But it was the back of his head. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. And then r- immediately after I was like, oh fuck, I shouldn't have done that. Like fuck. And I grabbed him. He was fine. He was fine. But like I did like a spin kick or whatever. And then I don't know, dude, I was seeing red. And this kid, like, he like pushed me in a way is kind of on purpose, but I shouldn't have got upset or I shouldn't have seen red because it's a fucking mosh pit. But I was just like, fuck you. And I just grabbed him and oh shit. And just pink to the back of his head. And immediately I felt bad. I was like, all right, I, this is why I don't mosh. This is, I'm done. So when you've seen that, that's the last time you're going to see that, all right? Wow, really? I witnessed history. So whenever he says, I'm not moshing today, I know it's going to be the hardest mosh I've ever seen. That's Gilly, dude, my singer. Have you ever seen Gilly mosh? Totally. No. Yeah, dude's a, dude's a fucking rip every, every unit show too. I see him at, he's always talking to somebody. Like the last show I seen him at was uh, the Shea when it was a big ass lineup you guys were at for ninety seven. Oh yeah, with, with Ruin. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was talking. Oh, he was to, he's to talking to Gabe the whole time. time. July sixth, I remember that day very, very, oh. very specifically. Rest in peace. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, no, no one died. No, oh, one died. <laughs> no, no, like, no, we're chilling. Oh, we're chilling. <laughs> uh, so the reason Gilly wasn't moshing or anything that day is he hurt his foot at a show previously like it was fucked he thought he broke his ankle oh shit yeah I don't know if you noticed or you weren't even there huh at the Shea that day no 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 <laughs> <laughs> did you stay and watch us I don't remember no so I've already seen you guys a bunch and I was like I really want to catch Hereditary and they're in Long Beach yeah and I was like that's right yes, I was like yes, I yes. could make it I could make it so I fucking as soon as Dars wait yeah as soon as Dars ended I just took off yeah you did tell me that okay well when Gilly was doing his vocals, he was like limping around on one leg. That's what I was gonna tell you. So if you if you did stick around, you would have noticed he was all fucked up. I'm a terrible person. I'm so sorry. It's all right. Next time. <laughs> but yeah, basically went from San Diego. I drove from here to San Diego, and then uh, after Darson, I drove straight over there to Long Beach to catch him. I remember messaging you, and I was like, "You're a fucking animal, dude. There's no way I would have done that." Hey, my That's girl. Insane, hey, my girl's bro. a trooper. She came with me. That's insane. Uh, she didn't. She didn't care. I drove the whole time. It doesn't matter. Uh, passenger princess she yeah come fine. on passenger princess treatment yeah I wish you would do that to me sometime dude but go back to the toilet <laughs> he just cut you off <laughs> did you know that, that you were gonna mosh or it was just something that kind of like no the music did well, something to you so like <laughs> I really like slam that's like my shit but I like when slam bands play hardcore shows because you have an excuse that you can fucking mosh so if it's ever a slam band playing like a hardcore show I'll probably mosh so yeah I kind of knew well I didn't know I was going to do that, the what you saw, and the way that I was moshing. I thought I was just going to mosh, but I became quite the asshole that night. But do you guys know that band, The Bolt Cutter? Yes. I've heard of it, yeah. Have you have you listened to them? Um, um, very little. Okay. Well, they also played Midnight Hour maybe like a month 
prior before um, torture. That was the auditory, right? And the yeah. Sm- and the small so, room? Yeah. Uh, or I don't know if smoke played. But auditory played, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I moshed for them too. But most shows that I go to, I'm not, I have it in my head, like I'm not going to mosh. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, dude. It, it's, if I feel it, I'll do it. If there's alcohol in my system, I'll probably do so it. So it's, ne- it's, it's never a no for you. Mm, I don't know. I guess I would just have to feel it. Yeah, I guess it would never be a no. I would have to feel it in the moment, dude. But it's never. Is it ever a definite yes? Mm, Who is no. it? What band would it? Would it be a definite yes Damn. for? Damn. Fuck. Like without a doubt, the flyer gets dropped. You see this band on the lineup. Like, no, aliens are here. They got the blaster to your head, and it's like you got to mosh now. What band is? It? What band's playing? I need to see your mosh. Dude, Jive Bomb. Do you guys look Jive wow. Bomb? Yes, dude, totally. Giant palm, really? But I, don't, I don't do the dickhead mosh. Like I'm not crowd bashing and shit. I I genuinely love Jive Bomb, and I've they've came out here a few times, and oh. I've seen them pretty much every. I think I missed one time that they came out. I think they came out two or three times, and I did miss one. But the other times, I've always moshed. And they're coming out in October. I know, and it's on my birthday. So is that awesome? Is All it right, the first? I think, I think it's October twelfth. My birthday's on the 10th. Oh, Whatever, it's like right around my birthday. It's so on your my, birthday. That's my birthday present to myself. Oh, that's fucking badass. Dude, Jive Bomb, dude. And I go in planning like I won't mosh for them. Where are they, where they yeah. playing at? Where are they playing at? Uh, Haven. Haven. Harsh Reality, Candy, Extinguish. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Extinguish is fucking hard yeah, too, yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, also, Condition 1. Do you, have you ever listened to them? I've heard of them. I've never listened to them. They're from the Bay. You listen to them? Heck yeah. Wait, they're, they're coming down for that show too? No, no, no. Sorry. I would mosh to them. <laughs> oh, okay. Like every time. Okay, okay. okay. I, lo- I like Condition 1. Dude, J- like Jai Fong, that was very unexpected. I wasn't yeah, expecting really? that. Yeah. yeah, I was not you expecting I was that out of here. only? Everything heavy? No, well, I mean, you kind of give me more of the vibes of that. Yeah, yeah. You know what no, I mean? Dude, I love Jai Bomb. You can ask any of my friends. Like, f- I fucking love that band, dude. Because al- although hard, they seem more of a, a fun band to they're me. They're like a two-stepping band, dude. I love it, dude. They're, they're badass. I like two-step. I really like the two-step. I, l- I like me a big boy two-step, for real. It's art. Have you ever two-stepped? Have you ever... I, I, I two-step once for big boy. Dude. At Sound of Fury. Oh, my and God. Then, like, this last Sound of Fury? No, no. Oh, I was like, did they play this Sound of Fury? They totally yeah. did. They had the oh, biggest, shit, I totally forgot. The biggest forgot. pit of the festival. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was like, he went in there? Like, yeah, I got hit right in the fucking face, like, right when he said, all right, guys, open it up side to side. Boom. I was like, oh, fuck, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> no, the one before where they played super early. Yeah. With the bike racks. Yeah. That's right. Everyone threw that shit. You're right. Uh, Big Boy's also probably another band. So I was really late to them. And Gilly was the one that was like, dude, listen to Big Boy. They're, they're, they're good. So probably now I would probably mosh to them if I seen them again. Also, I couldn't mosh at this last Sound and Fury because I passed out the day before. And I felt like shit the whole weekend. Which sucks because there was a lot of bands that I would like to get, like, at least go up front for. Uh-huh. But, like, even getting close to the speakers and shit at Sound and Fury, like the... I don't know, like Feeling the bass tones and shit. Yeah, it was giving me like a weird ass feeling. So I would have to stand way in the back and I just drank water the whole weekend. Oh, it was awful. It's, it's better that than not going. True. Yeah. True. Because so, everyone was like, you should probably go to the hospital instead. And I was like, no, I paid for these tickets, brother. Yeah. I'll be there. So who was your favorite set? Of this last Sound Fury? Dude. Torture was really sick. Killing Flesh was really sick. Um, Keeping it slam. Okay. Yeah, yeah, dude, it's my that's my number one genre. Dude. I was seeing all the comments and people were like we're not expecting. They were like, oh, people went up there and like rushed the mic and shit. Yeah, for their their outro or whatever, like the last song, dude, the stage got like taken over. It was awesome. For Killing Flesh, yeah. Um, I don't know. I really liked Harm's Way. So Harm's Way, I was super late to also because I know they've been around for a long ass time. And Gilly's like a super fan of Harm's Way, so he would always try to get me to listen to them. But I started getting into them like before this last Sound of Fury, so I did watch them. They were really good. I liked Harm's Way set a lot. Yeah, I remember we were walking like towards the back area, like where the where the drinking area was, like the waters. Yeah, yeah. And I told him I was like, it's not a good set yet. His shirt's not off. And like two seconds later, he fucking ripped it <laughs> yeah. off. Yeah, it was fucking awesome. Shit always comes off. Uh, dude, I don't even know who my favorite set was. What about you guys? Uh, 
There's a few. I liked Drug Church a lot. They're one of my favorite bands, so... I just... I can't get into it, dude. Yeah. You both of you guys just go cure yourself. Kumo 99, surprisingly, was really Ooh, fucking good. That's, one that's of another them one. Me. Yeah, that's another Absolutely. one. Absolutely. One of the most fun Insanely sets. lit. Yes. Insanely... Yeah, fun. I was walking with my homegirl, and then I was like, what is this? Like, And I thought it was a, a DJ spinning... But she was actually like screaming, yeah. And and I was like, "What is this?" And like, I was like, "Let's go, let's go see what this is, dude." We ended up watching the whole entire set, dude. I mean, from the back. But I was like, "Whoa, this is like, this is tight, dude." I fuck with this. Yeah. I liked Kuma. Who else did I like a lot? Well, probably Big Boy's set. Yeah, but Big Boy always does so good. Every time I've seen them, they're fucking awesome. I'm trying to. I can't even remember like every band that played, to be honest, know, for both days. Half Heart was great. I'd say mine was Demonstration of Power. Fuck. Yeah, that, that fucking front man is crazy, dude. That's, especially, I mean, if you're if you're playing Death Threat, you kind of win me over. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, so I've heard. Yeah. You're a Death Threat guy, huh? Totally. Yeah, I like Death Threat. I like Death Threat. That Peace and Security album. I think is that what it's called? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You can leave now. We're done. <laughs> you don't like that album? That's the best album. Oh. But you're just like, I think it's called that. Yeah. Well, I'm not like a, a big big fan of Death Threat, but I I like them. Like if someone puts it on, fuck yeah, I'm gonna be into it. But. Yeah, like we were talking in the last episode about Abstain when they did that uh, Death Threat cover. Fire. So far. Abstain also, I don't think I've ever listened to them. But I know like people fuck with them heavy. Are they local? No, they're San, San Diego. Diego. San Diego? So the the singer is actually the drummer in Hereditary. Okay. Or Gabe? <coughs> is his name Gabe? Brady. Brady. Or even Pull Your Card when they when they did that oh, uh, yeah. Dead at Birth cover. Yeah, that was fun at too. At the Haven? Oh, yeah, yeah. This last time that they just yeah, played, right? Yeah. Uh, that was awesome. Or no, that wasn't Pull Your Card. I'm sorry. That was with Holy Caravan with... Oh, uh, yeah. With... The, the um, first band. Pull Your Card frontman man yeah. Oh, okay. Pull Your Card's fucking hard too, dude. Absolutely. Yeah, it sucks I had to leave. Why are you always leaving early, man? I didn't leave early. <laughs> no, so basically like my girl... And my baby were like done, mm. and they were like, "Okay, we're gonna go." And I told him, "I was like, okay, I just want to watch Marrow, and then we could leave." And then Marrow went on. I was like, "Okay, can I just watch one more band?" And then my girl was like, "She wants to go already." Yeah, you kind of have to bite the bullet on I that know, one, dude. I've been there. She, baby, knocked out in the car. I was like, just "Let me drive back. You chill in the car. Leave the air on." I tried everything, yeah. everything in the book, but I don't next know. time, I know. Time. And you know, you got little ones yourself, right? I have one. So, have you introduced little your little one to, to the scene or oh, yeah, having yeah. music at all? He used to watch us. He used to watch 97 play. Um, he's just... He, he's becoming a teenager now, so he's kind of rebelling against, like, hardcore music because that's all he grew up listening to. So now he's doing, like, his rap thing. Or it's, like, always the, the opposite of what the parents do. Yeah, so he, he hasn't gone to a show in a minute, but I think he, like, fucks with the music. Look, you know, deep down, he, he likes it. He like grew three, up on it. Yeah, like, three years, he'll be back on it. Yeah. This shit's sick. But yeah, we've totally... I, I've, I've taken him to our shows. Yeah. Yeah, that's badass, dude. It, it fucking makes me nervous because he always wants to stand, like, on the side of the mosh pit, and I'm like, dude, come up here. You can stand on stage. Come up here. <laughs> he's like, he'll go like this, like, I'm fine, I'm fine. Like, I'll be pointing, like, get up here. I have my bass on. I'm like, come here. He's like, I'm good, I'm good. And then, like, I see people going side to side and shit, and I'm like, dude, like... Stress levels through the roof. Through the roof. I'm not even, like, focused on the music at that point, dude. I'm just watching him, like, the motherfuckers better not hit him. He did get hit one time. Took it like a champ. He was fine. I mean, like, I did the dad thing, like, made sure he was okay, and he was fine. But, yeah, he, he's totally been to our stuff. He likes it. Hell yeah. He's never tried to mosh. I always try to get him to, like, just go in there. And he's like, nah. Man, it's always dope seeing seeing uh, younger kids doing that, especially like when uh, at the midnight hour specifically. There's always this one kid. Yeah, and everyone kind of protects him, like they go around him while he's moshing. Uh, I, I he was there for torture, right? That kid. No, that's a different kid. Is that the Chivas Jersey kid? I'm talking about the Chivas Jersey kid. I know who you're talking about, yeah. A little that older. Kid. He's that like a little kid, teenager. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The kid you're talking about is way, way young. Way young. How, how, how old is he? Do you know? I don't know, but I would say he's probably maybe 10. Max? Fuck. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a small nine. kid, too. And he's small, but he goes in there. Hey, that's Gabe 2.0. He went in torture, dude. Yeah, he was going. He's like in the middle. I was that's like, Gabe 2.0, <laughs> for real. Gabe. Darsum Gabe. Like, yeah, like encyclopedia. He's growing. He's ten years old. He's gonna know everything. Oh. <laughs> he's gonna know everything. Dude, I mean, I agree. It's good seeing kids being like 
involved with it and actually like getting in there and stuff or kids that go to the front and sing the lyrics yeah i'm all for that hell yeah yeah there was like some guy dm in the the dungeon page recently like last night and he was just asking me about the scene out here i was like where are you from dude he's like i'm from eastern iowa there's nothing out here he was like and it's just push piss yeah he said there's like one show like every couple months out here and it's not even hardcore it's like punk yeah and he's like yeah i tried moshing one time and i got a bunch of dirty looks and i got thrown out and i was like what the fuck whack but i put him onto a bunch of bands he should start his own band too in eastern iowa totally Probably. well that's how you start a scene yeah. yeah i think he's like 17 or something yeah gotta start somewhere yeah, right? he's young too yeah i mean if they don't have a scene already obviously they don't they have like a punk scene then yeah start your own band the thing that's going to be hard for him is getting people that like it to I mean, play in his band. They've literally got one of one of the, in my opinion, so one, not, one of the greatest heavy metal albums, you know, named after their fucking state. So yeah, it's like, dude, so not, just yeah, yeah. take that and run with it. I don't know, do something with it. That's what surprises me that they don't have a hardcore scene out there. I, I know Slipknot's technically like new metal or whatever you want to say. They're, they're fucking hardcore, dude. You can mosh to it. Totally. So I'm surprised they don't have a hardcore scene. Well, I don't know how eastern Iowa is either. I don't know. Hey, I was just, he was just telling me and I said, I sent him a Japanese mosh demonstration and he was like, that was dope. I love that video. Dude. Yeah. He's definitely getting kicked out way more often. <laughs> yeah, if he starts moshing like so that. He, he told me, was it's just a bunch of old heads that drink beer and they'll like crowd the front. And then it's like a, a U after that. And then people just jump up and down. No moshing. And he's like, if you mosh, they get really pissed off. And it's only one venue, which sucks. Yeah. So it's like, that venue is like, is it gatekeeping in a way? I don't know. Because they don't let you mosh? It's fucked up. No, probably not gatekeeping. I just don't think they're, they're probably just not used to it. I don't know. But once it, once that venue starts seeing that... You know, the, that scene is yeah. growing. It starts pulling a crowd. I, I bet you they'll be more I told the kids, you got to start doing this shit out there. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be rough, though, for him if he's the only band doing shit like that. Or them. Got to start somewhere. Hopefully they can build a scene. Yeah, dude. That would be so dope. Imagine being the first band to build a scene in your city. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's deep. Starting from nothing. Yeah. And you bring hardcore to your city. The think about That's how much insane. nothing's in, like, eastern Iowa. You know? It sounds like nothing to me. All I know is that they're good at wrestling out there. That's it. Wrestling? Wrestling, yeah. But don't you think fucking wrestlers want to listen to something like that? Right? I don't know. I would imagine. I have no idea. Because, okay. Something that pumps you up? Yeah, like, uh, I don't know. What do you think Kurt Angle was listening to back in his Olympic days? Metallica. Metallica. I was going to say that. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I guess you're right. Fuck. (laughs) Pantera, brother. But still, yeah, even that. Even that. that I'm sure they listen to Pantera. They just don't like the karate moshing, dude. No, I mean. Out in Iowa. Me personally, I, I despise push fits. I think really? it's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Mm, I think the older I get, it doesn't really bother me. I mean, I was like that too for a long time. I was like, dude, get wrong show. So, what, <laughs> so what about the drill rap? Didn't that ha- doesn't that have a lot of like push pit kind of? Yeah, activity? but I wasn't there for like that. Huh. They they do they have like mosh pits with people like spin kicking and stuff too. Really? Yeah, totally. Not not as crazy as like torture or something, but yeah, they they yeah. Damn, I, like I, I've never heard of that. I'd, I'd actually love to see it. You know Xavier yeah. Wolf? Yeah. Well, obviously, oh. yeah, I know. The, he has pits like that, too. Really? I've been in them where I, like, swinging my arms. And but I, 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 I would imagine in that environment, it, it, it's a lot easier to make it hostile real quick if you're if you're that's the thing doing you karate to, mosh don't be crowd bashing don't be moshing near like the crowd be in the middle where there's no one else around you but people like let you do it as well at least when i i've done it like once at an xavier wolf show it was in san diego there was like a I just put on my story recently. It was like uh, Puyo was my first concert, and then I got thrown out of Puyo, a Puyo concert. You got thrown was, out? Yeah, so I went with a homie, and there was like a little pit, a circle pit. And this guy's girl got pushed, and he got the guy, the guy got all pissed off. And I was like, dude, she's on the fucking edge of the pit. What do you want, what do you, what do you want to happen? Yeah. And then he started like getting all pissed, and then got him in a headlock. You did? No, my friend, and then I jumped on the guy and just started punching him, and then I got put in a headlock, and they just threw us out. Wow. The security, yeah. I was like fucking 16 or something, 17, I don't know. And that was your first concert? Yeah. Whack, I didn't even get to see Puya. Dude, it was before he even played? Whack. Brother. 
my first concert, Migos, baby. Damn, <laughs> crazy, Migos. dude. <laughs> when they were like popping actually, off. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My my first concert was actually um, it was a uh, Not Fest meets Oz, Ozfest. Yeah. So this was like Slipknot, Slayer, Anthrax, so the fucking gang of bands. I used to go to those. Was it the one in San Bernardino at the amphitheater? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I used to go every. Yeah, day. yeah, yeah. Yeah. But my first act, like small concert, was was Migos. That's crazy. Where was it at? In L.A. That was, I think it was in Santa Ana. Observatory. Uh, yeah, I think so. Wow, they must have been like barely on the come up. Oh, dude, it was so fucking sick. So dude, sick. that's wow. crazy. I seen uh, Fredo Santana, Lil Durk. Uh, I I don't think Chief Keith played, but he was there. He was like on stage, but I seen them at the observatory one time, and I was lit, bro. And I remember telling, <laughs> I remember telling my homies that I went with, I was like, dude, if Fredo plays "Rob My Plug," I'm gonna go crazy. And he opened with it. He came out, and it was like starting to play in the background. And I climbed up like on a table, and I was like shaking ass and shit. I had, <laughs> I was double fisting, and also, dude. <laughs> It was a crazy night, but yeah, the observatory is pretty cool for like rap shows. Actually. Dude, absolutely. Yeah, I saw I D Savage there. I was fucking dope. That's sick as fuck, dude. I, I heard it's not too good for hardcore shows at the observatory. I've never been. Hey, that's where I fucked up my leg. It's, it's <laughs> is it on a slant? Like, is the mosh pit on a slant? No, but leading. So there's like a little barrier, I think, going around it. Yeah. <laughs> that's like the ring. And so before that, going down to, to the actual mob. I remember something about that. Yeah, like it slanted down or something. The stage is pretty high, if yeah. I remember correctly. <laughs> I don't know. I never got close enough. Stage is pretty high. I, I just always see like on Reddit, like the hardcore Reddit and stuff, I always see people talking bad about like Observatory for hardcore shows. It's all right. I need to hop on the hardcore Reddit. I need to hop on Reddit. Man. Don't. Don't? All right. That's, Save yourself that's that, brother. Nah, go on it. Do you it's talk shit on there? Do you talk shit on I've never posted on there ever. <laughs> I just search up my own bands and I'm like, all right, we're good. Oh, dude, that's terrible. You don't want to do that. Well, I want to know. <laughs> nothing, never, nothing bad has ever been said so yeah. far. Now, now people are gonna start posting fucking stupid shit now. I love going on there finding new shit. On hardcore Reddit. Yeah, totally. Yeah, because he was, I, because he always has all this random knowledge about hardcore. And I asked him, and he was like, yeah, Reddit. Reddit. Yeah. Careful though, a lot of it can be uh, false. What people are posting. Or are you just talking about, like, finding out new bands? Well, like, new bands, kind of like... Uh, or, like, the news, like, updates on what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Or, or where bands are from, like, yeah. who they came up with, kind of shit like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's not really, like, uh, it's not much lore on the bands. It's kind of, like, Check like this facts out, that you can find on, like, yeah. Wikipedia and shit. Yeah, no, I only use it just to look up 97, just make sure nothing negative's being said. So what happens if something negative is said? You, you go in there shutting this shit down? We're just quitting the band, brother. The band's <laughs> the... No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Like, nothing would happen. I'll just be like, oh, fuck. You're like, hey, People are saying that? That's hey. crazy. Gotta set my game up, I guess. So is there, like, a little IEHC session? Nah, I don't think so. Is there? IEHC, like, on Reddit? I don't I, think so. Not that I know of. I think it's just, as a whole, just hardcore. People talk about Inland Empire, though, sometimes. Like, they'll say a band and they'll be like, yeah, they're from Inland Empire. Or they'll say, like, the city. Like, they're from, like, Riverside. They're from whatever. Fontana or whatever. But best to believe, I have absolutely seen that um, IEHC is dead. Not the Discord page, but just in general. Discord's popping. That's all I gotta say. People have, been, people have said, um, I've, I've read on there that the, the scene in the IE is whack. Hmm. I mean, that's kind of like what happened the, the first time around, too. Like, everyone started... I don't know, man. It, like I said earlier, it was really strong, and then everyone started getting divided. Everyone started kind of talking and stuff, and it just died out. In my opinion, it died out. I know it's always kind of been around, like Gabe and the few that actually stuck through it all those years, but I haven't heard that it's, like, dead again. One, like, 197 posted. He was like, touring bands, don't skip the IE. I've seen that. And I was like, fuck yeah, totally. So yeah, it's absolutely facts. true, man. I love Steven, dude. Steven puts on hard for IE, dude. I mean, with I know. Jive Bomb, Extinguish, and Candy, with those guys coming around all the way from, you know, Baltimore or, you know. Where's Extinguish from? Uh, they're from the, the Bay. Bay. And Candy? Do you know where they're from? No. Maybe Baltimore also. I don't know. Or uh, East Coast? I think they are East Coast. But I don't know. Either way, with Jive Bomb coming all the way out here from Baltimore, dude, it's like they, they're, they're going to get the it's proper so show out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then that's another thing. 
from back in like whatever 2014 or whatever compared to now there's a lot of big bands that come around too now or bigger i i see like possibly like tsunami and stuff coming through eventually if ie keeps growing that would be fucking dope. I could see it. That would be dope. Because didn't Big Boy play Haven? Uh-huh. Yeah, and it was insane. Yeah, I missed that show, but... That was the most I packed I've ever... That was the most packed I've ever seen the Haven. Yeah. What about Jabalba? More Jibalba? packed than that. Did you go to that? I did. Uh, Yeah, I did. I, I went. I didn't go inside, though. Dude, I had the ticket and everything, but, like, when, when bands would start, I would look, and I'm like, I'm not going in there, dude. It's all fucking that sweaty bad. as hell in there and packed as fuck. I was like, I'm good. I'll just stand out here. I mean, I'll stand right by the door and like watch, but I didn't go in. So, yeah, I went to that show. so when you guys play, you you like the lights on or the lights off? I like, I like lights on stage. I like lights off mosh pit or it can be on. I don't really care. It doesn't bother me. I'm more of a lights on type of guy. Lights on? Yeah, it's danger out there. That's danger zone. It's safe out there regardless, no matter what. I'd rather see it coming. You're swinging fists. It's like sometimes the Haven has like these strobe lights playing. Fuck no. It just goes dark bright, dark bright, dark bright. When we play. I love the Haven, but when we play, they make it really dark and they do like the strobe light thing, but they do it even to like us, so it's kind of hard to like see what you're doing. So yeah, I I would say on stage, have the lights on at all times. For the people, for the band members. Including those big, crazy, colorful strobe lights? I don't like those, dude. Are you talking about, like, where it'll be, like, red, Uh, blue? uh, Dude, it fucks with me. Because when you look out, you just see, like, that color. You can't even see people or anything. Or, like, that's... They even do that at Chain, right? I've only played Chain once. I've never been there. You've never been there? You've never walked inside? I've never... Holy shit. ...been there at all. Mm. Have you been? Oh, same with me. Never Mm. been. I know it's, like, a a OG spot. Mm Mm-hmm. I need to tap small. in. It's pretty small. It looks big on camera. No, it's pretty small. Actually, like, pretty fucking small. Smaller than Haven, for sure. Smaller than the Shea? Mm, maybe, like, same size, but the thing about uh, Chain Reaction, they have, like, a wall cutting the middle. Oh, shit. I don't know how to explain it. it. If you go, you'll see, but there's, like, a wall, and then the mosh pit's on one side, and then people can just stand, like, on the other side of the wall, but it's directly down the middle. That's pretty dope. So it kind of turns it into like two small rooms if that makes sense but it's just one big room with a wall down the middle speaking about the shape everybody moshed for every band i thought that was dope that show with ruin in yeah. us yeah it was that was a really fun show that was so dope it was all day everyone moshed it was awesome La- last time that i went to shay was for world of pain's last show right no, I think I went to a show after. Anyways, that World of Pain last show, there was a shit ton of people moshing to. Someone broke their leg or like their kneecap or something. And he had to be carried out by like three people because he couldn't walk at all. Dude, it was it was brutal. And then they just played again. World of Pain did that secret that, uh, set. That fucking whack ass place, yeah. Oh yeah, it wasn't Shay. It was a uh, Cortisone. Yeah. We whack, whack. What why do you not like it? The vibes? Personal. Uh, <laughs> the parking situation? No, that was... You have to park on a bridge and walk like a mile? We parked one block away. Uh, Did you guys go to that? That yeah, show? Yeah, oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, How was World true. of Pain? Um, I m- miss World of Pain. Really? I wasn't let back in, unfortunately. Oh. So, I mean, there were ins and outs all night. Or there were no ins and outs. It was advertised, right? Yeah. But we went in and out a bunch of times. We had checked with security. Hey, man, is it cool if we maybe just chill out here in front of the venue? And they said, yeah, a bunch of bunch of people were being let out, right? And so it got to a point where um, I was actually on the phone, so I decided to uh, take, it, take it outside, right? I didn't want to be around so many people, so I, I took the phone call outside, whatever. And then there, just, there was this one girl who got knocked out. And so she was being rushed out of the place. Security saw that. They bum-rushed her, so they left the door, like, wide open. So I guess the, the, one, of the, one of the leaders of the organizers, he kind of, like, went to guard the door. And so I was all done with my phone call. Missing Link was going to do their last song. I was like, okay, cool. I'm ready to go back in. So I'm going back in, and he kind of gets in my way. He's like, oh, where are you going, man? You know, well, I'm just going back inside. You know, I just came out. Did he think that you didn't pay for a ticket or something? Uh, well, for one, that was whack, too. No wristbands or nothing. They just like, oh, okay, yeah, here you go. No wristbands or nothing. nothing. Oh, so uh, I, I had a bunch of merch on me, too. 
You know, so, I, so it's like obviously you were in there. Yeah, before. yeah. I even have videos on my phone and everything. Then I told him I was like, oh, I'm just going back in the show. Then he's like, oh, well, there's no ins and outs. I was like, um, I, I just came out to get a quick phone call. I was just whatever. I was just getting some fresh air. Took a quick phone call. And then he's like, whoa, there's a sign. No ins and outs. I told him, dude, security's been letting people in and out all night. You know, I was like, and you're just not letting me in because you're guarding the door now? Like, what What the fuck? Right. So you could not get back in? I No, he wouldn't let me back in. So pretty much um, what happened was he asked for my ID. I was like, okay, here's my ID. He's like, where's your wristband? They gave nobody wristbands. They were just checking yeah. people's name off the guest list, right? Or whatever it was, the, the list of people who bought tickets. Yeah. And so... I told him, I was like, oh, well, I mean, if you're not if you're not going to let me in, you got to do something about security because they've been letting people in and out all night. And he's like, oh, well, if that's the case, then it's my venue. Go ahead and get out of here. I was like, all right, dude, whatever. Whoa. He took my ID, just walked away. Yeah, he texted me. He's like, hey, bro, go ahead and enjoy it. But in my heart, if I'm enjoying this and he's not there, I feel fucking terrible. So I walked yeah. out. I just walked out. Wow. Yeah. I thought, I thought it was kind of the right thing to do on you, to be honest. Yeah. I would have done the same he was pretty upset. He was pretty upset, but I was like, brother, it's all good. Yeah. I mean, there's it, a million shows. It, it, it's not like it, it, it was just me out there. No one else was trying to get in. So, I mean, he, they clearly saw that I was in just there. like a power trip or something, maybe? I don't, yeah, I, totally, I don't know what it was, dude. man. Who knows? He was fucking annoying all night, though. He was walking up and down with a flashlight, like shining at people and shit. Let's get the fuck out of the way. When we played there, nothing like that happened, but. I could see like maybe they're a little uptight like that there. Yeah. It's, it's it, cuz it's like a it's like a club. It's not like a It's a restaurant in the front. Really? If you go around the corner, there's a restaurant. So I think it's a I think it is like a like a banda club like uh-huh. usually. So I don't think they're used to like hardcore or, or I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to talk bad about the place, but I mean, it was a, it was a great show. Yeah. Well, what it's I saw, big too. What I saw, yeah, it was, it was big. big. It was a dope ass show. You know, it was a cool venue and everything, right? I yeah. greatly appreciated the, that the floor was sticky. You know, that right. was what I definitely did appreciate. Um, I just sucked that I couldn't watch the rest of it. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if you noticed, like behind the merch table, there was like a bunch of pictures of Bad Bunny and stuff like that. I, I didn't go. Was, I thought that was. Oh, you didn't go? No, no, no. I wasn't there. Oh, really? We played there before. Uh-huh. Ninety seven has played there, but I didn't go for the the World of Pain show. No, neither did I. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> no, Same but huh? yeah, I don't know. I just couldn't. I couldn't let him just sit there outside in the car while I enjoy a show. Yeah, no, I would have done the same thing. To be honest, like if one of my friends got kicked out or not let back in, I would have been like, let's just go. And it's a long drive back too, so fuck it. Let's just start heading back, I guess. Dude, that sucks. I know. So you got you were able to see some of Missing Link though. Just not their whole. Set. I saw most of it. What'd you think? Oh, dude, it was great. Absolutely great. Awesome. We the saw them at we saw them at yeah, LDB. That shit was awesome. Dude, they're fucking awesome, dude. Did you see them when they played Seventeen Twenty, no. with Twitching Tongues? Uh huh. Oh, dude. It was awesome, dude. That band, they're gonna go somewhere, dude. Missing Link, they're fire. Did you go to A18? Mm-hmm. I don't really like going to shows on Sundays. Uh, my son has school. I have work and shit on Monday. And midnight hour is really far, dude. Oh, yeah. I very much agree with dude, you. Dude. And, I, and I didn't, didn't it in, like, it hella far. late, too? I didn't yeah. think it was that far. I know, at 5 o'clock? Wait, it started at 5? Doors were at 5, I think. But didn't it end late? Like, didn't it end, like, at 12? I would imagine. You see how many bands there were? That's what I'm saying. Fuck, yeah. yeah but, I, dude, I, I mean, that. same thing. I mean, Blue Collar Boys, we got to get up early on Monday, Monday morning. And I do everything myself. Like, you know, I'm a single dad, so I have to get them up, get them showered, make breakfast, get me... Uh, dude, yeah, I'm not going to midnight hour on a Sunday, dude. I'm sorry. I, mean, I wanted to go, though. If it's a super crazy show, like, bands that I'm super stoked to see... <clears throat> then maybe I'll consider going. Yeah. But, um, I mean, yeah, those are dope-ass bands that they had on there, but I don't think it was enough for me to make well, it out there. Have you seen a lot of the bands that were playing for 818? Yeah. Yeah, same here. So it was kind of like, not that I didn't want to go or didn't want to see those bands, but I've seen them all before, or a majority of them. So I was like, eh, I don't know. It's not really a loss for me. And I just stayed at home anyways, chilling and making dinner and getting ready for work. So that's a plus, too. I didn't have to rush on Monday morning, dude. So you say you're a social butterfly, but would you say you're a homebody? No. Uh, no. Well, (laughs) 
dude, secret obsession of me, mine. I'm sure you've seen it on the IHC Discord. I love World of Warcraft, bro. Really? I've not seen it. Dude, I'm always playing fucking World of Warcraft. That's dope. That's hella unexpected, too. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you play League at all? I played League back then. I played uh, Fiddlesticks. Is that his name? Fiddlesticks? The Scarecrow? Oh, I haven't, that was his name, I haven't right? played in so long. I haven't either. But I did play League for a little bit. I never got, like, crazy good at it. But World of Warcraft... I'm having a stroke. But they're, they're, <laughs> they're constantly updating the game. Yeah, so I play Classic. They came out with Classic, which is, like, when it first got released, like, That's the vanilla cool. version. I play Classic again, which doesn't really get updated anymore. Any of your homies play, or just you? Just me, baby. Fuck. How'd you get into that? And when did you get into that? Fuck, when, before Hardcore. Dude, I've been playing for that long. Yeah. As a youngster, huh? How many hours do you think you got logged? I don't know, but I can. you can do slash played, and it'll tell you your total time, and I'll text you. Oh, fuck, it's got to be so long. I always remember oh, seeing, those, uh, seeing those ads. The World of Warcraft ads? The World, World yeah. of Warcraft ads. Uh-huh. And uh, I always wanted to get into something like that, but no, nope, parents never... Parents never it's uh, the $15 a month charge, dude. Parents never paid Parents it. didn't want to pay it. It's no. $15 a month? Yeah, so you buy the game for however much it was back in the day, like 40 bucks, and then it was $15 a month, a subscription to play. And a lot of parents were like, no, we're not doing that. I used to, I used to steal... <laughs> I used to uh, steal free trial like time cards from Walmart. I would take them out of the box and I would put like the game and everything back in there and I would put something in the box like that was like the same weight and I will just put the box back and I would fucking use free trial for a month. Like every month I would just put in the code. That's awesome. For the longest time for like years, dude. And then my parents were like, all right, we'll pay. But uh, I didn't start. So World of Warcraft came out in 2004. I did not start then. I started during Burning Crusade, which was the first expansion. So I think it was 2005 or 2006. Holy fuck. So I was like in eighth grade when I started. So you've been playing for almost 20 years? Yeah. Did you ever take a step back from World of Warcraft? Yeah. Never for like more than a couple months though. Wow. I've never done like years at a time. Damn, you true so to that does shit. Does your son huh? play with you? No. He doesn't like World of Warcraft. Good dog. What's he playing right now? Roblox. Roblox. See, Brothers that's the Roblox, wave. That's dude. the wave, though. It is. Do you dude, play? You play? Right. I've played with them, yeah. I've played Roblox. Because I've seen that they got some dope little mini games, like, they built do. in. We do a lot of horror games on Roblox, me and him. I haven't I haven't played Roblox with him in, like, a year or two, because, like I said, he's doing his little teenage shit now, so he doesn't really want me to play. But, yeah, we used to play, like... You guys ever? Do you guys know that cryptid, uh, the Rake? Uh-huh. Uh, have you ever? No, I, no I've never even uh. played Roblox. It's, I don't know, it's like some monster, but it chases you, whatever, like, you play with online fucking people or whatever, so me and him would play that and play, like, kind of like, uh, what's that, the back rooms? Oh, terrifying. It's, it's, it's like that, but Roblox version, like, you know, blocky fucking graphics and shit, but, dude, these kids make, like, full-on horror games, dude, on Roblox. That's, That's terrifying. Sick. Yeah. You ever I'm, played, like, Lethal Company? No. I don't even know what that is, actually. I've never heard of it. That's a scary game. We gotta play with the homies, scary? though. It's scary. It sounds like it'd be like a Call of Duty game. No, it's People fucking play. terrifying. Well, mm. to me, it's terrifying. Company too. That's what it reminds yeah. me of. Yeah, like, right? Basically, like, you're... It's, it's like a... It's not like a very high-end game it's very low quality but it's so fun you and your homies play you're on a spaceship you go to a planet and you got to collect salvage and you Ooh. sell it and there's monsters trying to kill you the whole time i've seen this you have to run out right to salvage everything and like, you got to bring it back and the monsters are trying to kill you and the later it gets the more sh- monsters there are and i'm like the biggest bitch in the world <laughs> so, with horror games and shit horror anything dude and you gotta get on board brother well i watch it my girl loves it, so you know, I'm, I'm a little forced to watch it, but... Oh, you growing some thick skin now? Yeah, I just scream and yell it. the whole time, like a little girl. It, and they just I didn't know that's what it. that game was called. I've totally seen people play this game, like yeah. streamers and shit. That's like a homie game. Lethal Company. It's I'm going like, to have to try this like game. like six bucks on Steam. That's it? Yeah, and then we mod it, so like we add monsters and shit. It's pretty dope. Okay. And kind of like... What is that called? way of life type shit just kind of you can run a little longer because the sprinting in that game is like it's ass huh yeah it's like two seconds and then you're dead is that the same game I'm thinking of where like you can use a walkie talkie in game but it'll alert like monsters if they're yeah so if if you're on discord 
uh, there's like uh, mimics in the game and they'll start talking like you but if you have your discord oh. mic on it won't work so you have to mute and you can only talk in game so Dude. there'll be times where like your homie's dead and you hear him talking. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm right here. And the monster will come and kill you. Some skinwalker shit. Yeah, shady, it's dude. Scary. That's what it reminded me of when you were saying that. Terrifying. And uh, usually, oh since I'm screaming the whole time, that's all the mimic does is just scream. Oh, my so, God. So, like, when I'm dead, <laughs> you'll just see, like, my homie. It's just me screaming. Ah! Yeah, it's awesome. I love it. I want to play that game. I didn't know that's what it was called. I know what you're talking about. They have a new one, too, where it's, like, uh, underwater, you're a scuba diver. And I feel like that's also terrifying. I, I don't really fuck with underwater. Is that scary? Scary like to you? The thalassophobia or whatever. Like the fear of like oh, the yeah, unknown no, or whatever. Like the deep ocean? Hell yeah. I'm terrified. That's the most unknown there is, baby. Literally yeah. terrifying. Uh, one time me and my buddy David, we went to like Huntington or something and we tried to swim all the way to like the first buoy or whatever. I made it, but I was, if he wasn't there, there was no way I was doing it by myself, dude. No way. And it was all mind over matter, baby. I fucking told myself, you better get back to shore, bro, or you're going to be stuck out in the ocean. Oh, Dude, terrible. it was scary. It was scary. The water turns black eventually. Yeah, because you can't see. There's no light. Black, black not dark blue. Yeah, it was. I'm, I'll never do that again, dude. Yeah, I'm terrified of the ocean. How much? How much money would it take to get you back out Fuck, there? Fuck! Oh my god. <laughs> no, no homies though. <laughs> uh, no homies though. Like by myself. Yeah. Ooh, f I don't know. Probably, I probably wouldn't. By myself, probably wouldn't. So not even for for five thousand dollars. Five thousand. <laughs> what beach? What beach? Huntington. <laughs> is there a full moon out? Is it in the day? It's oh, in the day. Night? It's in the day. No, no, no. no yeah, yeah, it's night. in the daytime. Yeah, come on. I'll, I'll give you the day. We're not trying to kill you here. At night, I would be. There's no way. Uh. I'll probably. I I probably would do it for I'll a certain amount day. of money. I'll give you the daytime, but there's no lifeguards out. <laughs> It's just getting worse, dude. 5,000? 5, 5,000 bucks. As soon as you make it to shore, bam, it's in your hand. Money even gets wet. Mm. It might have to be a little more, but I think I would do it for a certain amount. 50, 55. 5,500 or 55,000? 5,500. 5,500? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. How far out was the buoy, though? It was fucking far. It's far? I remember it being far as fuck. Like, yeah, dude, are the people are, are, the pe far. are the people really tiny? Yes. Oh, fuck, that's terrifying. Yeah, it's far out there. That's terrifying. Yeah, we swam. That's where the boats and shit are. Yes. So that's past... That's, well, the buoy is... Yeah, like, boats past are right past that. Holy fuck. Yeah, it's past the pier. It's it's way out there. There's sharks Jeez. and shit. I know. Oh, God. I don't know. 55? Ooh. Maybe. Maybe if there was a lot of alcohol involved. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no alcohol, though. Nah, 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 nah. Alcohol is like you can't numb the feelings. You gotta yeah. embrace them, dude. Rather, I, I nah. I'm gonna have to say no. <laughs> so, it, it, would you bone dry sober? Ugh, fuck, fifty five is good money though. <laughs> nah, dude, I'm terrified, bro. When I say terrified, I'm terrified. That's your deepest fear, right? Like there. I hate seeing the videos of those ships and there's these giant fucking waves. I hate it. Oh, like when they're going up yeah. and over. Yeah, dude. Uh, deepest fear? No, but definitely a top. Being scared of the ocean and shit? That's the number one. Mm. Cause you know, I've even recently been seeing those um those people posting on their Instagram like checking off all their their the things that they're scared of. You Why know what I mean? See that. I didn't see that either. I know what you're talking about though, with the check boxes and it's a long ass list. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen the, the fears one though. I don't know. I'm like I'm pretty terrified of heights. Really? Yeah. You're not a roller coasters guy? No, I love roller coasters. Like heights though, like if I were to climb standing up, over? Yeah, no yeah, fuck. I can't do that no either. fuck no. Climbing up a big ladder. Like I'm talking like big ladder that goes up fucking like a sky rise or something. Nah. Well you're you're up pretty high, right? Oh yeah, dude. No. Doesn't bother you? Not at all. You're tied off though, huh? No. Well, you're supposed to be, really. No, well I mean we're not Don't actually, make me call OSHA, dog. We're not actually <laughs> outside of the of the <laughs> Of the building, you know what I mean? Yeah. But when, oh, yeah, when, when we're going up on the elevator, though, uh, right now we're up 47 floors. You know? Doesn't uh, bother you with the little sway of that little rinky fucking rinky dink elevator? Dude, you know what? Those are sketchy, bro. They are fucking sketchy as shit. And dude, next time, jump up and down. <laughs> nah, don't do it. So listen the to this. elevator operator's like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> listen to this, right? So the, the, the elevators have been a little more rinky dinky than usual. That's and terrifying. One elevator in specific... 
Um, whenever we're going down and it, they're, we're going down for a little too long where we haven't made a stop in a while, it'll start da, 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 like really shaking, oh, really dude. shaking. But one of the lift, uh, one of the lift operators, he told us that it actually dropped. Why would he tell you that? So it, it, it dropped from <laughs> it dropped from <laughs> level eight to five. Oh my god! Like it caught like it well, caught that's when the emergency brakes kicked in. Emergency brakes kicked in, and that's when it caught. Oh my god! So it took it took three floors for it to catch. Nah, dude, that's crazy. That's terrifying. That is absolutely terrifying. And you take this elevator like every every day? single day. Uh, you know what though? I mean, it, it doesn't bother me that much when when it really makes a shake, when it really gets a shaking. It it's not not the biggest thing. You always hear everybody like, "Oh my god, my fucking." And you're just there, fucking listening to music, just drinking. Uh, yeah, weed. dude, I'm just there, like, cool, <laughs> listening to Death Threat. How many people are on that elevator at a time? At a time, I would say like two, three. Two or th- no, dude. There's probably a, at least twenty. What? <laughs> on that little ass elevator? At once, yeah. That, that, that's why they so fall, it, bro. Here's what it is. It, it's probably. I'm fucking crying. The middle. It's probably like um, split this room in half, and it's the length of the room. Yeah. So split it in half widthwise, but it's the length of the room, and it literally gets filled like a Santa card, like a can of sardines. Oh god. That's why it breaks down, bro. You know? Well, I mean, yeah, it's totally too weird. much weight, dude. We gotta get home, dog. Like, if I step on that thing with you guys, it's, it's over. Oh, it's over. man. You, you should see the big boys on the job site, brother. <laughs> <laughs> There's some big fucking boys on the job site, dude. See, so, like, my thing with heights is that my dad's, like, um, I'd say he's, like, a tough guy for sure. But even with heights and shit, he's never scared. So we would go to Joshua Tree all the time because we just loved going out there. He would put me on his shoulders and he'd climb the rocks so that you're not supposed to climb. No equipment, nothing, just throw me up there. And he's like, all right, hang on. And he'd just climb up. And we'd be like, he'd make me look off the edge. Oh. That's what did it for me back then when I was like a little kid. Fuck that. Looking over the edge of all these rocks, terrifying. Yeah. Are, are these like huge They're, fucking boulders? You yeah, never yeah. seen Joshua Tree? Yeah, yeah, I've been out there once. It's he would climb the rocks that you need like equipment, yeah. like ropes and shit. He would just, just do free it, climb just it, free climb with me on his back. It's insane. And then he was like, "Oh, go to the edge." Fuck no, fuck no. <sighs> Damn. Never again. You ever boulder like free climb like that? Uh, not like in the like in the wild at Joshua Tree a few times mm-hmm. when I was younger, because like fuck. And you seen a picture, and I was like ten. I was doing like rock climbing with my homie, and uh, we went out to Joshua Tree. We 10 feet at the most but uh not something big like that i did a um, during covid i did bouldering but it was like in an indoor gym have you ever done it oh yeah totally dude it's so fun it is super yeah fun. we did it works you it works we did that like what like two years ago we were we were pretty heavy into it like two years ago really? yeah even like a year ago i want to get back into it it's fun i need to get back into something what, what, what size shoes are you 12 and a half hey, he could fit my rock climbing shoes easy what are you 14 Brother. You could fit easy, but I think those are the like the grip, though. I know you do need it a little you, you tighter. Would have, I would have a lot of room. It's he would fit into like three sizes smaller. I can't do that. No way. Until they're like this. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Have you seen LeBron's toes? Nah. Oh no. It's are terrifying. they all fucked up? <laughs> I showed them like yesterday or something. It was fucking terrible. No. <laughs> well, yeah. I was always told like for bouldering or even like rock climbing, you kind of want your toes a little bit. Cur- you want that natural little curl so you can fucking grab on. So yeah, 14s aren't gonna work, brother. That's a big foot. I think they're 13. The I think my shoes are 13, like a size down. <laughs> <laughs> hammer. Just ignore hammer. It. Hammer. Get the fucking hammer, brother. <laughs> I want, I want to get back into it though I want to do something I feel like I've been really lazy for a long like time the San Bernardino, right? yeah they got Hangar 18 real close to there that's a that's a rock climbing gym Hangar 18 there's, Hangar there's, 18 there's a big one in Riverside like giant oh are they usually in like literally hangers like old hangers that they turn into the rock climb? I think I've drove past it is it by um Hangar 24 which is a bar I don't know where this is at I so the only ones I've been to is in Rancho and in Upland for Hangar 18. It's bouldering or rock climbing? Both. So, well, it's bouldering. But you can be it's, like... It's indoor, and then they have the ropes as well. Yeah, yeah, okay. But that Riverside one is known for having the boulder go all the way up to the top. Like, it's some insane, next level dude. shit, yeah. I've never been that high. <sighs> Fuck that. Dude, that shit's just growing in popularity every single day. Mm-hmm. And know? he was telling me that, like, there's a lot of things that are adjacent to, like, hardcore, like rock climbing. Pipelines. Those pipelines, like for example, um, the the pipeline between 
rock climbing and hardcore, it's a lot shorter than you may think. There, I went to a place in Redlands. I cannot remember the fucking name of it. I was trying to think while you guys were talking. I can't remember the name of the place I went to, but everyone had, like, tattoos there and shit. So when I started, like, meeting people and talking to people, a lot of people fucked with, like, punk, hardcore, metal. Yeah, a lot of people that go bouldering. I'm, like, too afraid to talk to people sometimes, though. Why? Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I am. But at the time, I was... I was, like, 360 at the time. So I was just, like, really insecure about myself so yeah the yeah, confidence just, just, just wasn't there stayed to myself headphones and that's it yeah I, I guess I did that at first too to be honest yeah no but I like talking to people I like meeting new people and I even saw I, I, I don't remember I didn't catch which state it was in but they even had a hardcore show inside a climbing gym really that's yeah. dope yeah. it was out of state though yeah I, I, it wasn't in California mm, sounds like some sure. Arizona shit I don't know why I'm getting Arizona. For vibes. some reason, I'm getting East Coast vibes. I don't know. East Coast. I feel like they do all the all the Sonic shows and all those yeah, crazy restaurant shows out there in the East Coast. They you know? do. Denny's, what the fuck is up? What the fuck's up, Denny's? That's from Texas, though. Is it? Yeah, they, they yeah. got they got a lot of followers, dude. Where's but the I think wa- it's from the from the memes. Where's the Waffle House show, bro? Someone's gonna totally, do a Waffle House show. Waffle House? Yeah. yeah. You ever been to Waffle House? Insane. I have never. Oh, fuck brother. I know. I hear. Oh, it's amazing. I hear. All you gotta do is make it Arizona, and then you're, you're yeah. chilling. Yeah, I didn't know it was that close. It's like something that's actually worth it for me. Not really. Just for Waffle House, it's not worth it. But if I was going out there... You could drive all the way to Arizona for Waffle House? <laughs> no, but my homie, he has friends out there, and he goes out there all the time. They go hiking and shit out there. Yeah, dude. Arizona? Yeah. And he's like, dude, just go. It's not that far. It's like four hours. That's not that bad, dude. And then you go to Waffle House after a long hike? That sounds awesome. Does 97 have any plans to uh, to make it out of state? Mm, out of state right now, no. Or have you guys ever made it out of state? Oh yeah, we yeah. played Chicago, we played Texas a what few times. What the fuck? Yeah. And what's been the what's been your favorite place to go? Or like out of state? Yeah. Mm, the Chicago show was really cool, but it was I think it was because of the whole like vacation, the whole trip of it made it really cool. Like the show itself was really good too, but. Probably not my favorite. Texas, we played San Antonio, and we played... um, I can't remember the other city. It was maybe like two hours away from San Antonio. But the San Antonio show, I want to say, was pretty good. It was at... uh, Was it called Boozers? Fuck, I can't remember. Boomers? No, they're (laughs) Boomers (laughs) right here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't remember, but one of the venues that we played in Texas was really good. But I'm not gonna lie, man. Out of all the places that we've played, the better shows have happened in California. Hell yeah! So, For, uh, in my opinion, out of all the shows you played, is there a show that's like sticks in your mind? That's like this was our best show. Mm. Oh, you know what? The first time we ever played Las Vegas, it was literally. Do you know what a Connex is? Like uh-uh. those. Do you know what those are? They're like those, like rectangle, like trailer things, mm-hmm. and they have double doors on both sides. You could just open them. They're like storage units usually, sure. but they're long. It was like in one of those almost. Oh, they're those big ass ones that they, those big ass containers they put in the back of like, like trucks. Ah, yeah. okay. Loud as fuck in there. You yeah, guys playing yeah, a side one? It was like a connex into like a building, and the building was like also under construction. I, I don't know. It was like an abandoned building. No power. It had no electricity, no AC or anything. So they ran it off generators and stuff. It was sick, though. Like, the show was fucking awesome. That was probably one of my favorites. And like I said, that was in Vegas. And then... Sorry to cut you off, but isn't... Uh, what is it? Neon Bear Brewing? Don't they have... Yeah, yeah. Don't they have that kind of setup? Yes. That Those are like Connexes. Yeah, those those yeah. containers that are on the side. It was like something like that. First time I saw you guys. When we did the surprise set. After that. That was surprise set? Yeah, we weren't on those flyers. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was hooked after that. Or we played... It was two days in a row because it was Bree's birthday. That's where I saw you. Okay, I think we were actually on that. But the night... Actually, no, I think we were a surprise set both nights, if I remember correctly. Friday, we just all ended up showing up and the guy was like, can you play? And we were like, yeah. And then Saturday, I believe because of Friday... No, I might be wrong. Maybe Bree did have us on it. I can't remember. Yeah, well, yeah, I fucking, I loved those shows. Those shows were really fun, too. I think I shut down a little early, unfortunately. It did. Smoked, dude, the curse of smoked, man. Was it during smoked? 
Yeah. Honestly, that girl kind of deserved an angle cap. <laughs> I mean, oh, the one that got knocked out. No one deserves to get knocked out, but yeah. she was fucking really egging this guy on, man. I didn't see it. I don't know what happened. I saw it all night. Oh, okay. She just kept fucking crowd killing him, and he. Oh. Yeah, and then he retaliated. Yeah. I don't know. I have nothing to say. I don't know. It was. It was I didn't lot, see. It was, it was a lot more than that. I'm sounding like an asshole, but it was a lot more than that. <laughs> was that during smoked or was that before? It happened before, huh? I want to say it happened uh, after. Were you oh, there, Hoser? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I was there. Mm. No, that happened before smoked. Yeah, because that's. I think that's why they pulled the plug on smoke because she wasn't waking up or something. Yeah, the ambulance was on their way during smoked, and yeah. they couldn't make it in to to get access to her, so they had to pull the plug on smoked because of that. Smoke, dude. Heavy bend, man. That's they got that curse on them, huh? Yep. Hangar twenty four, that bar I was telling you about in Redlands. Same thing, dude. They got their cords. Why? Just because people are beating ass? That's so sick, though. Mean, cool, That's bro. sick. Nah, I wasn't. I was standing there. <laughs> hey, man, but, I mean, as a heavy band, that's a good curse to have, I yeah, would say. Yeah, totally. Well, good and bad, right? Yeah. Because you want to be able to play your shows. You want to get your music out there. But if everyone keeps acting like an idiot, you guys aren't going to, like, <laughs> grow. You're not going to advance, you know? They did a Slipknot cover, like, on a Monday night one time. And that's I just remember the good. stage just got rushed. And, like... <laughs> Where was it? The Haven. Uh, I don't think I was there. They played on a Monday? Yeah. Yeah, and I remember... Uh, it was on a Monday? Yeah. Do you remember the lineup? Fuck. Was that with, was that with Ball? Was oh, that it was with, a uh, bunch of out-of-state people. With Primitive Rage? Yeah. Primitive I remember Rage. Did Live play? Live from Texas? I don't remember. I remember that it was the first night I met Steven from 197. That I bought this off him. Oh, hell yeah. And Smoke did a did a slipknot and everyone rushed the stage and the dude from knuckle sandwich like tried to jump on everyone from the top and he totally missed and just like right on the floor i was like holy fuck yeah but even then like 20 people all 20 people just rushed it was awesome i love smoke dude that's our boys dude uh have you guys ever been to stages in Santa Ana. It has two stages and they usually like do one band and when that band finishes this one will start. Kind of like how Sound and Fury does their shit. No, I've never been there. It's pretty dope. It sounds dope. We played there twice and both times actually were really solid sets for us. Like a lot of people moshed but the point of me bringing that up because you said that he fell like no one caught him. Dude, Gilly went to go stage dive at stages one time and there's like a bar that kind of like overlaps like the the yeah. counter kind of hangs out a little bit and he did a stage dive where he ran and he like jumped backwards and was like flying backwards and he smacked his head like on the bar totally fine dude he gets up and he's just yeah. starts moshing and shit and we're all like I'm sure he was totally fine <laughs> I, I think he got concussed a little bit he said he don't really remember hey it, like, it happens been there before huh? i smacked his head dude i've seen it like i was just standing there like oh look at gilly and i was like oh Fuck, dude, he smacked it so hard. You could hear it. Like, doom. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Never had anything like that happen. Unfortunately, I have. I got hit in the throat once, and I was like... <gasps> like a... <sighs> like a fist, like... <sighs> oh. Yeah, that that was weird. That was probably like... You can't I, breathe for like half a second, huh? Yeah, besides like fucking my leg up, that was, that was about it. Nothing else really bad has ever happened. Hey, but when you can't breathe for that half a second, it's fucking terrifying. You feel like you're dying. Yeah. Well, you are dying for that half a second. Well, like... I fucked up my leg so many multiple times after, like, the main one happened, like, in February of last year. Like, big boy at LDB. Uh, remember, dude, just, like, I was right there on front of the stage, and he grabbed my hair when he jumped off and, like, just ripped me back. And I remember my knee, like, popped out, and I just had to I had to walk away. Oh. That's all I could do. You need to get that knee fixed, man. I'm trying. I know. I'm trying. That's brutal, dude. Shit's a liability. I'd love to get in the pit, though. I'd love to well, fix that first. I'd love to just oh. kick ass. Yeah. Not like crowd killer or anything, but I just feel like I feel like you'd be a crazy crowd killer, dude. I, I don't Look feel like at his size, bro. Well, I, I mean, I know. I feel I he, maybe got, I feel like he's got the rage inside of him, but I don't want to hit anyone in the I face. I think he's a gentle giant. Yeah. Oh. Totally. He's a gentle giant. So am I. Well, I've seen you. Mosh. Unless torture is playing. Yeah. I've seen you. You're fucking violent. You've seen me mosh once. Oh. Huh. At Haven, huh? I was at the Haven, but I don't remember what show. Mm. And I didn't even know you yet. I was like, this fucking guy's huge. That's all I remember. I don't know. I don't like being the guy that everyone's like, that guy's scary. Fuck that. I'm just trying to have fun. Can you kick high? I feel like you can kick high as fuck. I used to be able to do a really gnarly spin kick where I'd plant my hand on the ground, but I can only do it with my left leg planted, so I can't do it. Yeah, I, dude, I doing one's fine. 
Yeah, but my left leg's the one that's fucked. Oh, fuck. So if I would do the spin kick on there. No, no, what I'm saying is when your knee's fixed, can you oh, kick? Oh, totally. Oh, dude. Crowd kill, baby. <laughs> crowd kill the whole crowd. That's what I do. I go all the way around the horseshoe. What about with your kickboxing experience? How much does that play into your... To your I, I tone it down. I'm not kicking, like... Dude, I'm, I'm not kicking 100% at anyone, dude. At all. But as far as... uh, Did that help you kind of generate your mosh style? Mm, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Because I... Probably, right? Like, naturally? Yeah, because I feel like right? those movements that they teach you in there, like the sw swing of the hips and everything like that, yeah, I feel yeah. like it would... See, I don't even swing my hips or anything, though. I don't... I don't... I'm telling you, I'm not... Tone it down so yeah. much. I'm not... For real, as, for as, like, as crowd bashing and shit that I'm doing and as violent as it looks, I'm... I don't want to hurt someone. I really don't. Gentle giant. I don't want to ruin someone's night. So you think... You if you get bonked that, in the head, you get bonked in the head, right? I mean, totally, that's what I think. Totally. But if, if someone's, like, sitting there knocking people out left and right, that's kind of like, all right, dude, tone it down, bro. Like, no one's really trying to get hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, that's what I think, so... What were you going to say? I don't know. I feel like... I feel like I would hurt someone bad, and I just don't want to do that. I mean... But I've never even done it, so I couldn't even tell you. I, I think once you're in there, it's a lot easier to, to kind of, I mean, and depending on the person, but speaking for myself, it's a lot, it's it's very easy to know your surroundings, you know what I mean? Like, as the person dodging? Like no, the person not, no, as a person moshing, like, knowing who's around you and kind of being aware that you're not going to hit them, for me, at least, it's pretty easy. Oh, totally. Yeah. But I mean, like, if I was going to go and do, like, side to sides, because sometimes, like very rare but I'll do side to side and if someone gets in my way I just throw them just like get the fuck out of my way yeah. and then um, I've only done like the backswing once and I hit somebody and I felt pretty bad that's kind of inevitable oh. though you know in a sea of people you're bound to hit something so I see what you mean now about him so yeah you're definitely like a gentle giant oh, yeah I, I do feel bad oh. I'd rather just go in there do some windmills fucking I mean, maybe just uh, a moshing on the side of the crowd isn't your thing then Maybe you would have to be the guy that's just in the middle the whole time. Maybe I do want to hit somebody. I just haven't felt it yet. You'll feel it. <laughs> the right band will make you feel it. Go see Torture, brother. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when your I knee's know. fixed. I know. I was right there on the end of the pit. That was fun to watch. That was really fun to watch. Uh, oh, for uh, Sound and Fury? Yeah. Did you guys ever... Uh, no, you guys weren't into hardcore yet. No Zodiac's whole like time frame when they would come around? Uh-uh. Those were some shows, brother. Where are they from? Uh, Chicago originally, and now I think they're Arizona based. But no Zodiac. Have you heard of No Zodiac? You've never heard of them? No Zodiac? That's what they're called? No Zodiac? Never heard have you ever heard of them? Heard of them? Haven't listened to them. It's just beat down. Like, ignorant fuck. But, like, their style was not really happening when they first made their first album. I don't remember what year it was, but when they came out here, it was No Zodiac. You ever heard of that band Nasty? From Germany, uh -huh. dude, nasty play. Are they still playing? I think they're still around, but they're they don't really come out here because they're in Germany. But I don't remember the line. It was crazy. It was a beat down as fuck show, and it was at Aladdin's before it was Haven. That show would have like, you guys would have been like, holy shit! Like the way that people were bashing on each other and just socking each other and shit. That that was a fun show. That's what I feel like World of Pain is. It was like World of Pain, yeah. It was like World of Pain shows. Was World of Pain pretty violent? Oh, you guys, you guys didn't see. <laughs> they were so violent, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I've, I've seen their sets, though, as far as, like, on, on YouTube and shit. Yeah. They're totally yeah, violent. Yeah, so everyone, was, was, violent. everyone yeah. was telling me, like, you're not ready for them. Yeah. You're not ready for them. You're not ready for it. And I was like... You're like, ready. I guess I'll just leave. But there, was a, there wasn't a lot of big boys there. Not really. I was expecting big boys, like... Was there not? Did you guys get to see Mongrel? No, they're, they're the, no, they're the they're the closer. Headliner. They were headlining it. I yeah. believe so. Oh. Yeah. Damn. See, so we were outside, speaking about in and out, but we were sitting there, and he was like, "Hey, he's like, what do you think's wrong with his leg?" Bro had the fucking biggest knot on the side of his knee, like ever. Some random guy. No, the singer mongrel. Oh, well, he does. I think he's like a black belt or something in jujitsu so and he shit. Just totally, just didn't tap and just ripped it off. It was nasty. I don't know. Dude is yoked. Yes, he is. He's yoked, yoked 1,000. I told Gilly, get like that, bro. <laughs> he's on his way, dude. He's, Gilly he's, used to be massive, dude. He lost a lot of weight. Did he really? He used to be jacked. Yeah, he lost weight. Just because? He just doesn't work out anymore, yeah. Damn. Fucking Gilly, dude. What? 
What if 97 just all got jacked? That'd be so dope. That'd be crazy. That would be fucking sick. And then you guys just all go to shows together and just beat ass. Nah, nah, nah. I told you I don't mosh. <laughs> Brian's already jacked. Our guitarist that has like all the tattoos and shit. Uh huh. He's fucking buff now. He's been working out. He's ahead of us. When, when are you hopping on the train? Tomorrow. 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 Yeah, tomorrow. Nah, I don't know. Get into bouldering. Getting the fucking yeah, dude. Powerlifting. Hey, your son would like fucking rock climbing too. That'd be dope. Yeah, he probably would. Dude, I was told one time that I have the physique of a um, powerlifter. Totally. You think so? Uh, you know, I don't typically oh, actually, see. I, actually, actually, yeah. I don't typically see tall powerlifters. Yeah. yeah. They're usually short and stocky. Gilly, man. Gilly, yeah. Gilly's a fucking power lifter, dude. Bet you he's strong as shit, like, too. Like, look at Abel. He's not super short, but he's he's beefy. He, he's a big guy. Yeah. Abel. He used to be a power lifter, or still is. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what he does, but yeah. Dude, the first time me and Gilly went to the gym together, he was like, I haven't done this in a long time, so I don't know if I could do it. And he grabbed two 100-pound dumbbells and just pressed it, and I was like... What the fuck? And he's like, yeah, I'm not as strong as I used to be. And I was like, bro, that's the max dumbbell size you can get. Like, what are you talking about? I've never even touched like those nothing. things. You was just like, I've never even touched those things. Or maybe it was like 85s or some shit. It Still. was 100s. It was 100s. Yeah. And I was like, dude, <laughs> fucking gilly. Still, even 80, 85s, dude. I've never even touched those things. Me neither. Guys, I gotta take a piss. Who I fucking care. cares? Be funny, you fucking poser. What a fucking loser. Suck my dick and my pussy and my crack. We'll be right back. That pee felt fucking amazing. Yeah, dude, I've been fucking holding that thing. I've been holding that thing forever. You guys should have seen my legs under the table. That shit was like... For like the last like 30 minutes. And, you know, alcohol, it'll do that to you too, huh? It's usually hoser, you know, the one taking the breaks, but... You're sweating, brother. Oh, yeah, dude. I like you are a sweaty that. man. You did say that. It's getting toasty in here. What's your hat? Oh, kill floor? They're so good, dude. Holy so shit. They're gonna go far. Yeah? They're gonna go far. Hell yeah. I like Kill Floor. Good good people, too. Totally. Totally. Well, Jack, uh, I was telling all the other day, Jack followed us, like, way before we even got into, like, with Sergio, like, since he was, like, the first hardcore guy mm -hmm. that we had on the show. He's been following us since before that, and I don't even know. I just remember, like, him, he's like, oh, yeah, that's that's Cactus Jack. That's a homie. That's all yeah. he said. I didn't know he was part of Kill Floor. I think, when was it? I, I met him, Mosh for Youth, four? If I remember correctly, I believe what? it was. I believe it was Mosh for Youth Four. Was that the one we played? Ninety-seven played. It was it outside. It was outside. Yeah. Was it cold as fuck that night? Um, I think that might have been the the one we played. Honestly, I don't. I don't remember. Did Did uh, Twisted Kane do a surprise set? I think so. Yeah. I think so. That was a good Mosh for Youth. I don't remember seeing Jack there though. It was either, was it that one or the Mosh for Youth 5? Either way, it was a Mosh for Youth. Yeah. I met him. And he was just asking me about my boots, right? So, because he's a blue collar man himself. Yeah, yeah. He was just wondering about my boots. And then uh, he he introduced himself, asked him about my boots, and he told me about Kill Floor, you know? And um, I specifically told him, too, because I'm a big fan of these unstructured Yupong hats. I told him, if you guys ever make hats, Make those unstructured U-Pongs, baby. I'll buy one. <laughs> is that what that is? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, dude. They took and, your uh, advice, brother. And he he had told me about Kill Floor, but they didn't have anything out at the time. Mm -hmm. So once I saw that uh, they dropped their demonstration and they were putting on for Coachella Valley, mm -hmm. dude, I was fucking stoked for them. We played. Oh, actually, when you guys asked what's one of the better shows or best shows that we've played, 97, actually, the Coachella Valley one was fucking sick with Face Facts, Kill Floor, Us, 92 played. So is it 92 or 9 Deuce? I think it's either. 9 Deuce, same difference, right? Yeah. yeah. 9 2. I don't know. I guess however you want to say it. Oh, that was recently, no? Was it? Yeah. Was that it was just like last. That yeah. outdoor show, right? No, it was inside. Oh, it was inside like a. I don't know, like a warehouse type of deal with like a roll up door and everything. Bro, Coachella. Are you guys, you're thinking of the smoke show that just happened uh -huh. like a few weeks ago? We didn't play it. Yeah. Fuck. That scene out there was great. Oh, yeah, no, you didn't play it. So you hit me up about it, yeah. Because you're like, I no, did? Yeah, because you said, no, they're playing here. Yeah, and we yeah. played Midnight Hour. Yeah. Yeah, same day. Guy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I didn't right, go to huh? any shows that weekend, so. It's far as fuck, though. It's not... I don't care about the far. 
the far is the least of my worries. Hey, you guys drove to LDB? Yeah. Insane, brother. But totally it's, worth it. Totally worth it. I but uh, sometimes they got the baby. Sometimes she don't want to go. Yeah. I do ask her if she wants to go. I'm not just going to drag her there. Because then I know if I drag her there, she's going to be in a bad mood. Yeah. yeah. Four years old, too? Yeah. You got to plan that shit out accordingly. Especially going to the midnight hour? Crazy. She's been there once. To go see oh, Ruin. What'd she do on the way back? Sleep. Oh, good. Yeah. Because I remember Ruin played out there, and I told him I was going to go to that show, and I wasn't supposed to have the baby that weekend. And I was, it was actually a weekday. And I was like, yeah, I'll just fucking take her. It was cool. Dude, midnight hour on a weekday is criminal. Yeah. That's worth insane. It. Totally worth it, though. Did you have work the next day? Totally. Damn. Good for you. There's a lot of things that I wouldn't. Like, I'd go to a show and fucking be tired of shit the next day. Yeah, I, I think it's just because I'm getting older now. Because all throughout my youth, I would do shit like... You swear like, like you're 55. Because I'm feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm 55. I would go to, like, three shows a weekend and, like, back in the days and do awesome. shows during the week and stuff like that. But, yeah, now I'm just, like... World of Warcraft, baby. You know, not yeah. only not Fire. only does it take a toll on the body, but the bank account. Oh yeah, see that's that's another one for me. It's like, uh, I don't really have money for that show right now. Yeah, and I was always the oldest, so, and I was the only one that had a car, so I'd have to pick up like all my friends, which is fine, right? You go to the show, like let's say you go to Chain Reaction all the way out in Anaheim, and I have to drop everyone back off and, and then get Anaheim. home. Like, yeah, and yeah, I can't and do anything. And probably even stop at a food spot on the way home or something. Mandatory. Man, okay, so so back in the day, where was the Mando spot? Fuck, Jack in the Box, baby. We were broke. Hell yeah. We're all broke, dude. Tacos. Tacos. Yes. Tacos and a drink, and I was straight edge back then. What changed? I have it I have it tattooed on me. You gotta black it out now. Nah. <laughs> I was thinking about maybe not going like straight edge. I would never like claim it again, but I was thinking about like sobering up, maybe. What do you guys think? Uh, what not necessarily a bad thing, right? I, no. It's not a bad thing at all, but I think if 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 the substances aren't a problem for you, yeah, it, just money. It, it, see, but if it's not, <laughs> if, if it, no well, money and health. But if you enjoy it in a, in a controlled manner, yeah, well, it's, I see no problem with it. Like I don't think I ever get like stupid or anything, like getting drunk or something. I've never been one to like start fighting or. Yeah, because I don't like, I don't drink often. It's kind of rare. Yeah, and then. Uh, I cut back on the smoking like 100% like crazy. Like I'll smoke yeah. randomly now. I used to smoke every day. So just now like, it's just whenever I feel like it, which is not very often. Yeah. Just like you were saying earlier. Tone it back. Sit back, chill, relax, yeah. enjoy a drink. You know? That seems, yeah. that seems harmless. I don't know. Sometimes I think about just going completely sober. You're completely sober, right? Completely sober now, yeah. yes. Was it hard at first? Not at all. Really? Well, for me, at least, because, I mean... Oh, you said you never really vibed with alcohol anyways, huh? It just I, wasn't uh, your thing? It wasn't my thing, but I did really vibe with uh, weed. Yeah. So weed was really my thing. That wasn't hard to kick that? Nah, it wasn't hard at all. Yeah. I just suddenly stopped one day, and I don't have the urge to pick it up again, really. Mm. Like, I noticed with me, I try. I'll go sober for a while, but it's always like... We'll go to Vegas. Like, the band will play Vegas or something, and you drink and you gamble out there. You're a Fat Tuesday. I, dude, fuck yeah, baby. But, <laughs> and you can get the uh, the Everclear ones. <laughs> they just wreck you. But, uh, and then I'll bring those habits back. That's my problem. Honestly. If I stop for a long time, I can never, like, just have one drink and then just stop again. Like, it'll start one drink, and then two days later I'll have another drink, and then two days later I'll have two and then it just goes back into like I don't want to say like I'm an alcoholic or anything, but it goes into that same to what it once was. Again. Yeah. See, what I feel like if you're not fucking with anyone, it's not hurting anybody. I think you're doing fine. Yeah, I think it's just more for like me, just to be healthier and like I said, money, save money. You save a shit ton of money if you're not drinking all the time. Totally, dude. Totally, dude. Because those, I remember one time like a while ago, I was at the liquor store run. I was like, fuck, dude. I was like, we spent this much on one day. Like, you yeah. just kept going back. It gets fucking expensive, bro. Especially at a liquor store. Do you guys uh, home cook a lot? Yeah. Like make your own food? Yeah. I yeah. would say so. You feel like you save money? Or do you feel like this day and age, like well, grocery totally shopping is the money. same? Really? Totally. I kind of find that like grocery shopping is almost the same price as like going out to fast food now. Well. Because food's kind of expensive now, bro. Well, I've been telling them like, so grateful for her, but she, she cooks dinner for me like every day. 
and for like two weeks we get like 150 on groceries for two you guys weeks. go to costco sam's club costco yeah. See, I don't have a membership, so I go to, like, Stater Brothers and stuff, and I think that's why it's expensive. Walmart, brother. Walmart? Yeah. Neighborhood oh, Walmart. Yeah. That's, like, a grocery store of Walmart. Na- that's what it's called, Neighborhood Walmart. Yeah. Super cheap. Super, super cheap. I have to check that out, because it's me and my son, so I'm cooking for two. And the thing is, like, you spend time cooking and then time doing the dishes and shit, and I spend almost the same amount as if I just went to, like, Jack in the Box for both of us or, like, KFC or whatever. So I'm like, why even? Because for me, it's like you get like a three pack of proteins, like a pound of each each pack. Yeah. Sixteen bucks. For three? Yeah. Oh shit. And then, yeah, I'm uh, fucking up. Like the frozen veggies, they got like it's not just like oh this is just broccoli. Like they have flavored ones. You look at the calories, it's like sixty calories per serving, and a serving is two thirds of a cup. It's pretty. It's a lot. Dude. And then you gotta think about how cheap rice is. I know. I do a lot of rice. So yeah. it's like rice, veggies, and whatever protein you want. It's pretty cheap. But this man's keeping it on the healthy side. So if you're if you're if you're gonna buy uh, other stuff, I mean, I'm I'm sure it's it, it'll get just as it'll be just yeah. as cheap. It just depends yeah. on what you buy. You know. I'm a big fiend of budak noodles. You know what those are? No. Maybe. Fiend. Oh. It's like the TikTok viral noodles that's going around the spicy ones. Oh, they're so good. Oh, does it have a chicken on it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My son eats those. They're so good. Sold out, dude. Walmart can't find them. There's like a purple pack and like a black pack. They got tons of packs, yeah, yeah. but there's this pink one. He likes those, the pink ones. It's the best. It's the best. I can't find it anywhere. My liquor store, the one that I got this at, they sell them there. Fuck. Like stacks so of them. So good. That's what he says too. I've never tried it. You gotta try it. You gotta try it the TikTok way though. I'm not big on noodles, dude. For real. Um, he's a great guy, honestly. He's right behind you. He's <laughs> <Very good. laughs> Look at the food. Those are dank. Those are dank. Really? Okay, I'm gonna try next time he makes one. Do, how does he? Do, does he make it like the TikTok way, like the viral way? Oh, what is that? It's like you put like a raw egg yolk with all the sauce and shit, and you put like a uh, mayo in it. No, no, yeah, none of that rings a bell. He's gotta try that. He just makes it. I think the ingredients that are in the package, I guess. Just so dank. That, that gourmet way. This yeah. man, this man has done it for me a couple times. Oh, it's fire! It's oh, so absolutely, dude. Yeah. Mm. So you just like. Just the yolk of an egg. Weird. It's, I'll try it. It's so it's weirdly good. Send me the the ingredients. Yeah, I want to try. I'll search on TikTok. It's 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 cool. I'll ship you a, a pack of the pink noodles in exchange because <laughs> I have an unlimited supply of them, dude. <sighs> since, since we're on the topic of food, what are your top three uh, types of foods? Types. Types. Because we're getting into this. We're okay. I'm sorry. Mexican, not types, dude. but like we're getting into this last episode, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Do you mean like? Mexican, Italian, or do you mean like what style of like a burrito or a taco? Yeah, like what like what are your three favorite foods? So That's- burritos top, bro. Just to give you an example, right? So my three were sushi, sushi, pizza, grilled cheese. Okay, okay, yeah. So burrito, any anything. Fire. It could be anything. Bean and cheese, bean and rice, carne asada, whatever. Uh, burritos my top. Uh, literally, I eat burritos for breakfast, lunch, and dinner sometimes, dude. Like in one day, I'll eat just three burritos. So, burrito number one. Number two. Mm, I like a good pizza. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it'd probably be number two. Pizzas give me heartburn, though. Pizzas give me bad heartburn. That's how you know it's good. <laughs> That's facts. <laughs> <laughs> three. Uh, fuck, I don't even know. Y'all fuck with fajitas? Chilies? <laughs> the way, Chilis the way you're right. like... You don't like fajita? They're, they're, they're pretty good, but I mean, I wouldn't put them on, on my fuck On your top? On my top. That's funny you said chilies. I had it for lunch. That's why I said that. But I don't think that would be my top either. Actually, I don't know. Fajitas yeah. are pretty fucking fired. They're always those ones that come out fucking steaming and sizzling. That's all fake, though. From the, That's from all the fake. kitchen. No, it's not. Dude, they just fucking put water sprinkles on top and walk out. I swear to God. Damn. So the, technically it's hot, but the food's not sizzling because like it's that. That, um, that that material of the pan, huh? Yeah, so you so just, just put water and just water. straight up. Fuck, I don't even know what my third would be. What about you? Fuck, I don't even remember what I said. I know Chilorano was on there for sure. I could have just said burrito and added that in there. I don't know what the fuck the sushi was got to be on there. Oh, and I said dim sum. Dim sum. I don't even know what that is. It's like... I didn't know what it was. It's either. like Asian food, like little finger foods, basically. So, I'm not big on, like, Asian foods. I've noticed. It's my thing. I don't like sushi. 
Well, sushi is considered Asian food. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like sushi. I don't like like ramen. And no- well, I'll eat ramen noodles and stuff, but we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> but I, it's definitely not on my top. I don't even know what my third would be. A good burger. Burgers That's, are fire. Yeah. What kind of burger though? Smash burger. Fil- I like a smash. I like. Did you say what? Filter it. Fil- yeah. Like what's on it? Uh huh. Honestly, brother, I'll do a bun, toasted. I'll do. What's the sauce that they put uh, in and out? Uh, spread. Spread. Like uh, a spread. Any any, style, any of yeah. that. Yeah, like the animal style type of sauce, and then a patty. Somewhere in there has to be bacon, dude. I love bacon on a burger. Mando. Mando. Bacon, lettuce. I take tomatoes out, not because of the flavor, but usually they give you a big fucking chunk of a tomato, and it just comes out anyways when you take a bite, so I always take the tomato out. So you can cut the tomato. I don't even want it. Probably another... I like a double, so probably another patty. I can't do cheese, but I like cheese, but I can't do cheese. I'm lactose. Ooh. Cheese fucks me. Sometimes it's well, worth it, though, If not. I'm at home, I'll eat cheese. Who gives a fuck, right? Because I'll eat pizza and shit. <laughs> hey, you need the lactate pills, man. Yeah. Or just you grow up. Home, just grow up. Yeah. Grow up. <laughs> Tell my stomach. And then just another uh, patty on top, dude. Very big. Triple. Triple? Or, I'm sorry, another bun on top. Did, did I say patty? Yeah. Yeah, number, another bun. No, give me a double. Have bacon on there. Have that In-N-Out um, sauce on it. Double bacon burger. I feel like a grilled onions. Oh, grilled onions smack. Yeah. And maybe the yellow peppers. Yeah, those are dank. Those are fucking hot. Hell ones. yeah, man. Some, <laughs> sometimes they're hot. Sometimes yeah, they're dude, very hot. Sometimes they're sleepers. They sneak every, up on you sometimes. Dude, every time I've had one, they're hot, dude. So, fuck. I love burgers, too. That's See, I didn't even think of burgers at the time. The question is so hard when it's just thrown at you like that. I know. I mean, but those de- definitely those are like in my top for sure. Pizza, burrito, and burger. So that's going to have to be my top three for now, even if I'm on the spot. And burrito, I think it's so convenient, too. Yes. Literally. You know? You're, you're, you're funneling everything in, in one tube. You can, you can do anything and eat a burrito. You don't have to worry about yeah, it. Yeah, true. Yeah, you can mix anything in there. It's not like it's not like you could put anything in between two buns and it's going to be good. Yeah. You know, more than likely, if you're doing a burrito within reason, it's going to be good. You guys fuck with a good smash burger that's messy, where you have to eat it with like a fork? Honestly, totally. I've, I've never even had a smash burger. Have you ever had a chili size? You know what a chili... I made you smash burgers when Jeff was here. Oh, you that's know That's a what? smash burger. Yeah, that, that was good. Very sloppy. Very sloppy. Yeah. It's got to be They're sloppy, fire, though. Dude. Smash burgers are fire. I'm glad it's taking off now. I was, I was very experimental with that burger, though. I made, like, candy bacon. That was... It It started off good. It just got way too hard. It was good. I liked it. I, fuck, I fucked with it. I didn't give a fuck. But, yeah, they're very messy. I'd like to try a restaurant smash burger. Yeah. Dude, there's a spot called Chubsies in San Bernardino. That sounds fucking awesome. Amazing, dude. And the guys are really cool. Like, the cooks and the owner and shit, everyone's really cool. Dude, they're so good. They have some random-ass ingredients on their burgers, too. You guys should try it. What were you talking about? A chili what? Chili size. I don't even know what that is. So, basically, it's a bottom bun only. Two patties, chili and cheese covered. And in half is a toasted top bun. And all that's in a bowl. And the bun's on the side. And you kind of just, like, eat it like that. What the fuck, dude? That's That's dang. That sounds good. Yeah. You know, you know what I fuck with actually, and I might have to change my my top. I really like a good asada fry. Oh, dude, dude that's a good one, brother. There's that's a, there's a, a good place one. in Eastvale, the best asada fries, but I put cabeza on top. Do, do you fuck with pico? Yes, 100%. Totally. I cannot get into fucking pico, dude. Why not? There's something I don't know what it is. I haven't found out. Like I, I don't have it down to a science, but something that's in there tastes really bad. To me, tomato it's a cilantro. I love cilantro. I eat it. Oh, okay. Fucking. It <laughs> I'm not a big fan of tomato. Just like straight raw tomato, I can't. I'm not. Or maybe it's just the place that I had pico at one time. But I fucking ever since this was, like, I was a kid. But ever since, I'm like no pico on everything. Wow. But yeah, I saw the fries, dude. That might have to be in my top three. You know what you can do, Cali burrito. Cali burritos are fire too. Albertos, that, they have that, a that. fire one. Those are asada fries and a burrito right there. That's practically what it is. I'm going to have to say I saw the fries are in my top three now. That's a dank one. What am I taking off, though? Burrito is still number one. I wouldn't say you should take out pizza. If you can't eat cheese, why, why is that even on the list? 
I do like a pizza though. There's some things where you would sacrifice your body for. I mean, asada fries have a shit ton of cheese. I You're eat. totally right. You just don't Honestly, care. I just stay at home, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. I'm the I only mean, one smelling myself. You might have to put World of Warcraft on pause real quick. <laughs> to run to the bathroom? Yeah. Is, yeah. It, is there even a pause mode on that thing? Nah. Nah. But if I need to go, I'm going, dude. Yeah, to take, you're going to have to take the L. Have you ever been stuck in traffic and it's right there about to come out? Um, not, not at the back end. When was the last time you shit yourself? <laughs> I have never shit myself. Well, maybe yeah. as like a baby. Cap. I'm not capping. Cap. I'll tell you. That's an achievement. Capper. That's an achievement. I've been close. Just like this guy's never had a headache, I don't believe it. You've never have a, had a uh, had oh. a headache? Oh, I've had a headache from getting hit, but never from like, oh my God, it's been a long day, like all this noise. Never like that. Cap. Yeah, capping you it. You know what I mean? No, serious. I'm telling There's you. No way. You're that hydrated? At all He's times? pretty hydrated. I am pretty, uh, I am pretty hydrated. <laughs> no, but seriously, like... Fuck, that's insane. It's never been one of those, like, oh, my head is throbbing, like, I can't take it, you know? Well, it's, I've never had a migraine, and my mom has, like, chronic migraines. I never had a migraine either. Really? That's you guys true. have both shit yourself before? <laughs> Multiple times. Multiple times. <laughs> what? <laughs> out? Like, when you were out? Yeah. Uh, not when I was out, but it's like... I guess I, I don't give a fuck. It was one day I was changing the oil, right? And uh, I was putting the the boards under so my car doesn't roll back. Yeah. And I bend down. I was like, oh, my stomach. And I stand up. And I was like, no, I did not. And I ran inside. I sent him a picture. It's like right away. I was like, I just shit myself. And this was like a year ago. <laughs> oh, shit. My last, one, my last one was at work. <laughs> did you go home early? No. <laughs> Brother. Hey, it was before it even started. You throw your fucking boxers so, uh, in the porta potty? <laughs> no, I didn't actually. So I like to I like to get to work a little early. I like to take a nap. But this morning, probably from the food that I was eating the night before, yeah. my stomach was bubbling. It was fucking get killing. The BGs, baby. And um, I almost shit myself last weekend in San Diego. Brother. So I had so much pressure in my stomach, you know, and I was just laying back, getting ready for my nap. The bubbling was just keeping me awake, and I just thought maybe I'll just release a little pressure. You know what I mean? Like I'll I'll, I'll ease my stomach a little bit, <laughs> and it just fucking. And so I let a little bit go, and it was one of those wet farts, and I was like, oh no, like it, it wasn't a long it wasn't a long fart, but it was a wet one. So I was like, oh geez, like what what is going on, right? So, um, I I happened to just kind of go up a little bit, reach in there, and yeah, I feel a little wetness in there. Wow. I feel a little wetness. So, fuck the nap. I got to go into the job site, get into the porta potty, and clean this mess up. Yeah. That's exactly what I did. Do you do the uh, the waddle walk over there? No, it wasn't too bad. You got to keep it contained. There was dude. no chunk. Yeah, there was no. There was no chunky. It was. Okay. It was wet. Did you tighten up your cheeks while you're walking? No. So no more comes up. This is normal walk. Ah. This is normal walk. I, I I knew for sure I wasn't gonna shit myself as I was walking. That's insane. So you cleaned up 100%. You wore the same boxers. You, you left them on? Yeah, I left them on. I left them on. All right. That's diabolical. No, <laughs> I know. No. You, you reeked, brother. I oh, you that's you, diabolical. Okay, so okay, no one told you, but you fucking <laughs> stunk, bro. <laughs> Here's the thing about me, though. I think I sweat so fucking much. At that point, honestly, it they're, itself. they're probably almost washed. Seriously. <laughs> There's some days where I come out of work, dude. Below my belt line, my pants are soaked. See, so self-filtered through your work day. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy, dude. It's like, unfortunate to say. You wore those fucking underwear. Bro. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a little diabolical. Hey, man. That's like, crazy. I'm not raw dogging the jeans. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you know how hurts. crazy that is? That raw dogging yeah. the Carhartts, bro? And I'm a big chafer, too. It, yeah, yeah. You would have been fucked. No thigh gap. No thigh gap here. <laughs> He's thick body on the model. So, for sure. Um, for sure. It, I carry a tub of Vaseline in my lunchbox just, for, just in case. Yeah, yeah. And, um... Yeah, I was not risking it. Now you keep an extra pair of underwear. I was gonna say that. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Same. Like uh, so, like this past weekend was was uh, missing link, right? Yeah, yeah. So this past weekend, I was telling him, man, dude, my stomach hurting. Like we were like halfway there, I was like, my stomach's hurting. I was like, hey, when we get to this pizza spot, I gotta go. Oh, dude, yeah, you're and right. And I was I like sitting that. in the car, like, <laughs> oh fuck, dude. So we we walked there, like after we park. No bathroom. And I was like, fuck. And I was like, there's homeless people outside, by the way. There's porta potties right there. I was like, dude, I gotta go. I was like, I gotta go. 
You go into the porta potty. So I walk over there. They're locked. all locked up, and yeah. I was like, "Rip that fucking door open, yeah. brother." He's like, "Are you sure?" He's like, "We can go now. We'll come back." And I was like, "No, let's just order pizza. Let's just let's just eat." You held it. I held it. I made this man go to a Wendy's so I go take a shit. You uh, blow it up. Well, we missed the Wendy's turn. Like, we missed uh, three times, I think. So many exits. Yeah. Your shit was like. Yeah, and then I was about like, to explode. Like, I'm gonna kill myself. That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna kill myself. Target. I was like, oh, thank God, there's a Target. And, I, and up here, Target, there's no one ever in the restroom, and they're clean. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, thank God. So I walk all the way over there. There's a line in the restroom. Fuck. The one day. And then there was a line behind me, and I was like, I don't give a fuck if anyone knows I'm shit. And I blew it up. Blew it up, and I felt so much better after. You gotta go, you gotta go, bro. But yeah, that's. I probably would have shit myself again. I'm not even lying. Like another five minutes? Probably. Yeah. I was getting the bubble guts for sure. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed either. I, I still think you're capping. I'm not capping, dude. I'll tell you. So you never just been moshing hard as fuck? Oh, okay. And that, just, see, uh, no. That's different, dude. If I feel like there's some potential of anything coming out, I'm not moshing, dude. That's, do you think you've ever accidentally, like, crowd killed someone and they shit themselves? Because they were holding it in and you kind of just hit them. <gasps> oh, fuck, fuck. One time. <laughs> <laughs> one time. This was a long time ago. Impending Doom and I think, like, the Great Commission were playing and I hit someone but like not like hard enough to make them shit themselves but I hit them and I took a breath because you're breathing obviously and I was like damn this fool like either farted really bad or he shit himself like <laughs> the guy that I hit because I was kind of just standing there after and I was like what the fuck and it was just like me and him in that like part of the pit or whatever and I was like damn bro this fool like dead ass I I don't know. It could have been a fart. That was really bad. But uh, you might have made him shit, him shit himself. It was pretty bad. I didn't hit him too hard though. It was. It wasn't. But I was just like, what the fuck? Or maybe it was a bo. No. Sometimes bo can be killer. Bro. Yeah. I've a never smelt bo that smells like shit. I have. <laughs> Me too. I have. Especially in the trades, for sure. Really? Yeah. What the fuck gonna take a shower? I've dog? noticed there's some there's some guys. Uh, Rub lemon under your armpit, dude. If you don't have deodorant, red lemon. It's better than fucking raw dogging it and smelling. You know what though? I've seen dudes. Uh, I've seen dudes go to work, pull up the next day, and get dressed in the same exact clothes they wore the day before. Uh, I do that. You know what I mean? It depends on how sweaty you get. Do you change? Do you change pants every day? I change pants every. Well, if I'm working, work. but yeah, I don't sweat like absolutely. that, dude. Absolutely. Not sweating like that. I wear the same pair like three days. Really? Yeah. That's. I think that's a little intense. But then again, I feel like my body's a little intense, so it's necessary. Cool. Yeah, like I sweat, but like forehead, armpits, like I'm not really sweating on my legs. Like normal sweat. I get it. Yeah? Yeah. Is that normal? No. What, Butt crack? But what I'm saying is, like, Small bass. when I sweat, um, yeah, I don't, you, you wear a hard hat, right? Yeah. Yeah, so... I, I'm literally I, I take this hard hat off for lunch right so I'll put it upside down and I go to put it back on drip 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 drip, drip. holy shit you're, you're it's, really it's yeah man I'm yeah. telling you I'm since, really sweating since I've known him he's been a sweater you're just a sweater yeah a sweater and I think I'll just always be like that well, he used to carry a he used to carry a bandana with him at school every day I remember he'd be constantly wiping himself you ever had long hair no just curious if you were even sweatier. Probably subconsciously for that reason. Really? Damn. Does it bother you that you sweat? It, it, it's a problem sometimes. Yeah. It's a problem sometimes. Because, <laughs> like, uh, when was it? I went to go eat... <laughs> I went to go eat sushi uh, not too long ago by myself. And I don't... I don't. I, sometimes I get some social anxiety, you know? You? Really? Sometimes, yeah. Right. yeah. And so... Uh, I went, I was enjoying my sushi, and so it was hot as fuck this day. So going from my car, which doesn't have the best AC, through the parking lot and into the restaurant, I'm already kind of feeling the heat, right? Yeah. And so <clears throat> I think I'm already sweating a lot, so my fucking social anxiety starts kicking in. Makes you sweat more. It makes me sweat more. And then I'm sitting down. I'm like, holy fuck, I'm sweating too much. And literally, I was sweating too much. I had to get up, go to the restroom, take a fucking cool down period. Yeah, I used to get like that too. I had to, I had to do a whole cleanup, like wet my face, wipe myself down and everything. Until I thought I was ready to sit back down and tackle. Holy tackling. shit. Dude, uh, when we get certified, like when I get a new certification, which I'm sure you've taken those tests for HVAC and shit. Uh-huh. 
when you do your, like your HVAC testing or when you went to go get certified, was there like four or five people watching you? Um, Did you have to like do a performance, like a demonstration of how to do whatever not to yet, get certified? Well, depending on what it is, but there's not really that many people watching. Oh, okay. So there's some that I've taken where there's like four people and they're just staring and you have to talk. You have to talk your way through it. Uh, I'm not going to lie. That gets me sweating. That's where my social anxiety kicks in when everyone's like staring at me, but it's like for... I perform the best when it's like that. Really? Like under high stress like that? It's just like because like, it's just because I know I'm, I'm already fucking good at it. So I'm just going to do it. But especially with you being a, a person that routinely goes on stage, yeah. perform, literally performs for people. Yeah. You know? He's now he's never thought about it like that. Weird, huh? So that's what yeah. that's why it's kinda it's kinda weird that uh that you you I think I feel like you would be used to the eyes eyeball eyeballs on you. No, there's still times I get nervous though, on stage. Yeah. If it's a big enough crowd, yeah, hell yeah. Huh. But yeah, when these people test me, dude, I'll I'll start sweating like out of nowhere, bro. From everywhere, too. See, and luckily in those situations, I'm already so much of a sweater. I'm probably sweating beforehand anyways. Yeah. So they can't even tell yeah. if I'm nervous or not. They're like, oh, he's just fucking sweating. Yeah. You know? Lucky. <laughs> That's the only times that I sweat, though, really. Well, like, crazy sweat is, like, when I'm under high pressure like that. Working, I'm... And it's the nervous sweat that tends to smell more. Yes. Really? That's, true. Yeah. That's very true. The, 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 very true. So I'm stinky because I'm definitely nervous. Depending on the person. Sweat. It really depends on the person. But I've read that it's the nervous sweat that smells more. That. It's That smells more than the, like, physical activity, athletic sweat. It's a different type of sweat. It's weird. It's weird. And that's also something that kicks into my mind when I get these social anxiety episodes, too. It's like, holy shit, I have that fact in the back of my mind. Yeah. You probably stink. And then it starts making it way worse. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, there'll be times you'll be like, do I smell? Like, no, nah, bro, you're chilling. You're chilling, brother. You're chilling right now. I don't smell. Oh, yeah, no, I'm chilling. I'm is chilling. this nervous sweat or you're just sweating? No, this is just kind of like... That light on you? Just, yeah. Pretty much. Just a sweaty man Small today. Face. Still love him though, it's okay. Sweaty and all. He's a good kisser. There's nothing I can do about it. It's insane. There's <laughs> nothing I can do about it. Yeah. This is how I'm genetic, Have you ever like went to the doctor made. for it? Actually, there is stuff you can do about it, yeah. yeah. I've thought about it, but... Uh, There's shots they give you. I'm not what? trying to I'm not trying to throw off my... Your pH fucking, balance? Whatever it is. They could take out your sweat glands too. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking about. Sweat glands. That's scary though. Why? It's coming out for a reason, you know? Yeah, it does tell you if you're hydrated or not. Really? Is, is, that what that is, is that what that is? I thought that's what it was, right? Well, I mean, if, if you're on the job site and they say if... If, someone, if you're not sweating, I think you're dehydrated. Yes, 100%. If you're, if you're not sweating, that's a key sign of... Um, heat stroke? Heat, heat stroke or heat exhaustion, yes, Holy sir. Holy shit. Yes, yeah, sir. I never knew that. Yeah, so if you get them removed, then you can't tell. So you better be drinking water fucking 24-7. See, but like, past like year, I've been on my, on my water boy shit for real. That's good. So I'm always, always got the hydro on me wherever I go, no matter what. I'm fucking really bad about drinking water, dude. I'm getting better, though. I'm getting better, especially with the summer heat. Oh, I cannot hot. wait for the summer to get the fuck out of here. Me too. I remember everyone was like, oh, when can, when can it get hot? And it was like... I hate like those people. Gym. Kill yourself. I'm one of those people. Thank you. You like the summer? I, I, I love the summer. Brother, I can't do it. Can't do it. Give me a hoodie and... Yes. Like a coffee, like something hot to put in my hands. <sighs> See, yeah. and and I mean, I believe me, I love that as well. But even the heat of the coffee, that shit will get me sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> ha- having that heat in my in my. Do you wear hoodies in the winter? All the time. And you're just sweating under there, dude. So the thing is, on the job site, right? It's cold as fuck. Four or five, four or five in the morning, right? So I'm going into work, all hoodied up with a jacket or whatever it may be, and um, until I start working, that fucking thing gets stripped off so quick. That's me, you know. Mm-hmm. And I see guys that they'll go the whole day with their big ass jacket on. No way. It's like because they're not working. How do you do it, man? I'm just kidding. I don't know. They're right? not working. How do you do it? Like I wish nah, I could I do that. Wash it off. Like five minutes into the shift, dude. In the winter. Yeah, it's. I, I mean, and it sucks because I'll be freezing my balls off, right? As especially with how much I sweat and with it being so cold. Yeah. If I stop for any period of time, I'm. Um, I'm just getting colder. You just yeah. keep a light blanket on you. Yeah, I'll keep a light blanket in my fucking tool bags. Like a snu- like a like a snuggie or something. Something. Something slight. I agree. 
I know we're running out of space here. So before we let you go, we just got a few questions to ask you. Yeah, go. So being in the scene so long, what is hardcore to you? Um, well, I guess it's changed throughout the years, my answer. Uh, right now, the way that I look at hardcore, community is number one. 90% of the friends that I've met that I'm still friends with to this day are from hardcore. And I think community and like friendship is like the number one thing that keeps at least me going back to hardcore shows. So I, I think that, I think keeping your scene, not even necessarily your scene, I think the scenes that you are a part of, like I'll go out to LA sometimes or whatever. I think keeping it a safe space, keeping it positive is all part of what hardcore is about, right? Because hardcore is for people that don't, don't, fit in with the masses I guess you would say the rebels or whatever the whatever so to me hardcore is having the safe space where someone can come and feel included and feel welcomed and then making friendships that last forever from that that's what I think of it now I mean like I said it's probably changed since when I first started till right now I, I don't know I don't know how I used to think of it back in the days I can't tell you that but Right now, in my older age, I like seeing and meeting new people. And that's what it means to me right now. Just keeping that friendship and community. I've, I've met a lot of people in the scene yeah. in such a short time. Like, a lot. That's great. That's great. That's what it's about. That's what I say. Like, that, that is what it means to me. Now, it could be different for everyone, right? Yeah. You can have a different way of looking at it. You can have a different way of looking at it. But for me, yeah, just... Like I said, 90, 90 to 99% of my friends that I still have to this day were from hardcore. They might not all be in it now, but they were from it were at one it, point. Yeah. So it means a lot to me, you know? I wouldn't take back anything, uh -huh. any of the years, even when I walked away from it for a while. I don't, it was still like a love, you know? I still had a love for it at that time. I don't know. I guess that's what I would say. I would totally agree. Yeah. But I know it can be different for everyone. I know everyone gets into it for a different reason, you know. But at the end of the day, like someone that got bullied that turned to hardcore and then gets accepted, that's still exactly what I'm trying to say. You came to it. You got accepted. You got welcomed. That is what it's about. Yeah. Right? Now, there's people that are like fucking the weirdos or losers or whatever it may be. Yeah, you're probably not welcome, but you probably have... A legit reason why no one wants you here you know what i mean but i'm not talking about those guys i'm talking about the community and friendship that you get from it that's what it means to me all cheesy as hell huh that's not cheesy that's just dope that's like camaraderie that's why i like it yeah i just feel like now too i'm just trying to chill there's nothing to prove for me now i mean i mean you don't have to prove anything in the first place even if you're a young kid going to hardcore shows just go just go have fun meet people you know Maybe don't mosh your very first show, but just watch. Yeah. Watch and learn and then go do it. You're going to be accepted. Unless you're a fucking weirdo, you know, piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just here to chill and have a good time now. I appreciate that a lot. Hell yeah, yeah. absolutely. Last good answer? A great, great answer. answer. Lactose yeah. free. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Straight edge now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if... if who would you say is has been the most influential person or even Damn. hero in your life? That's a good question. Like in the scene? No, ever. No, just, oh, ever. just in life. In general. in general. Fuck, man. I don't know. That's so loaded. I don't know. Like, I feel like I teach myself a lot. Not not saying I don't have anyone that helped me out throughout the years or anything like that, but I've, I've kind of shown myself a lot. My dad, my dad's always been there for me. You know, my mom. Maybe my, as weird as this might sound because he came later on in my life, but maybe my son. My son changed me for the better. I wasn't always the best person on earth, you know? And he put me on the straight and narrow path because I had to, I had to be a dad. I had him at 18, so I had to grow up quick. So maybe my son, without him even knowing it, has been kind of my hero. No, but it's like, that's so, that's so dope to me because there's so many like, 
deadbeats out there, you know? And you could have probably been a deadbeat. You could have just said, eh, I don't want to take care of them. Yeah, that was never an option, though. Right when I found out that, like, we were pregnant and having them, I knew I was going to be there. There's no way. There's no way I would want No way. You know? Yeah. So, yeah, maybe that would be my answer. Like, because I'm always constantly learning, growing, changing, all because of him. Because of things you have to do. You have to step up as a you dad or even, even just as a employee too like he he helps me like before he was born if i had a job and i got mad at someone i would say fuck this i quit i can't do that now i have someone to pay for i have to put food on the table i have to pay for my apartment you know so yeah i guess him in a way that's a fucking badass answer yeah and our last question okay if you had to talk to yourself past or future who would you talk to and why what do you mean? So, like, if you were, the, like, a time traveler and you yeah. were going to go talk to yourself, would you talk to your future self or oh, your past self? And why would you talk why. to them? Like, what would you talk about? Fuck. Mm. Maybe my past self, <clears throat> because I think when I found out that I was going to be a father, like I said, I was 18. I wasn't even finished with high school yet. I was still in my senior year. But I feel like I kind of gave up on a lot of like dreams. And what I mean by that is like going to college. I said, I can't because I don't have the time or maybe getting like a better career, something that I actually wanted to do. I told myself, well, I can't. I'll do it later because right now I need to focus like on my son. So maybe if I could go back in time, I would say like, stop being an idiot and get up and push yourself harder. You can do school. Yeah. People do it all the time. Single parents do it all the fucking time. You can do school and have a job and take care of your kid. It's not, it's gonna be hard, but it's not impossible. So maybe my past self. I can't really say that I would go to my future self because I don't know what the future holds. I don't know what I would tell myself. You know what I mean? Wouldn't that be like intriguing to find out, find out something? I don't know, I guess the mystery is like more intriguing to me. Where am I gonna be in 10 years? Do I wanna know? Oh, fuck, when did we cut out? Oh, I didn't even notice. Fuck, all right, well, It'll turn back on. We got like two minutes. You want to plug yourself? <laughs> Is it ready? <laughs> it's good now. We're good. We're good. All right. You can follow my personal on Instagram at 28 Davidge. You can follow 97 Minutes at 97 Minutes. And you can follow uh, Flesh Forest, my side project, at flesh.forest on Instagram. And that's all I have. I don't have any other socials. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's been Daddy's Dungeon. Love y'all. Peace.